Why do you only always quietly terrified of the stream? Well, you just need to forget that it's there. Yeah. That is sound advice. So, when we left off the introductory session, you were here in the inn doing inly things. <laughs> and then the night passed. And it was the next morning after the inly things were done. Such descriptions. Wow. Yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and well, as you are well aware, the the lottery is going to take place this noon, and it's morning. Hmm. And um, uh, around you are several other groups of people busy, uh, well, eating, having breakfast, drinking, you know, the usual stuff, getting ready. Oddly well, enough, I don't no know about you guys, but I am starving, so uh, why don't we have breakfast? It's the most important meal of the day. That's good to it's me. true, though. It's true. <laughs> uh, what do they have here? Take a look. Well, while Vikas pursues the menu, I want to quietly check out some of the other parties. See what kind of opposition we're looking at. Mm. I think there's an old halfling party. Okay, let's yes, there two. is. Your left. I don't think they're going to be up to the challenge. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh... I think, uh... <laughs> Entering the tombs might be a tall order for them. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna make the cut. <laughs> well, as you as you browse the menu, well, it shows the the, the usual inly stuff. You know, you have things like the local ale, some fresh spring water, grilled scorpion. You know, the usual things. I'll have me some grilled scorpion. Thank you very much. And an ale, right? Um, I actually settle for tea something. this time. Let's have some tea. They are bound to have some tea here, right? Yes, it's they do have tea. Middle of the desert. Okay. There's tea everywhere. I'll have some fine herbal tea. Thank you. I have no idea how that how you can get off in the morning without coffee. I'm getting coffee. <laughs> One offer of a lot of coffee coming up. Breakfast of champions. The bald man who is running the I place. A, I want a huge glass of milk. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Important for the body to grow big and strong, you know. Consult the yes, boring yes. and take the traditional Syrian breakfast. Ah yes, excellent choice. Sh on chef's advice. <laughs> and well, he takes all of your orders and then dutifully goes to the kitchen to start the preparation of the foods and then to the bar to uh, to get all of your drinks. Wait, he does all this by himself. That's pretty impressive, actually. It's a busy place here. Yes. Good man. Good man. And he kind of looks a slightly overworked, but only slightly. Mm. On the bright side, if the tomb raiding fails, we could always apply for a job here. Yeah. I think they already have a job. And if the tattooing fails as well, I guess. Right. Are you still in your, um, without your shirt on? Um, yeah, I, I think, uh, I want to be left alone during breakfast, so I have put my shirt on. <laughs> you don't want them to swarm you because of your massive creative talent, right? Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I smell I some sarcasm. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, you're, being you're an are, artist. You are served with, well, 
stuff. So the, the, the food... I take the a crunchy bite out of my scorpion. It tastes <laughs> nice. Mm, it's salty. It tastes just like lobster, but a bit more dry. <laughs> and poisonous. <laughs> you really taste the poison. Make a fox no. <laughs> <laughs> the stinger is a delicacy, you see. <laughs> Yeah, that, that part is not though. included. Make well, a knowledge food, food check. See, you got to suck out the vices and... <laughs> Wait, is this the vice? <laughs> <laughs> this can only end in tears. I approve. Mm. As a GM, I always approve when things can only end in tears. <laughs> <coughs> Unless it's GM tears. Yes. <laughs> oh, I accidentally right. took the wrong book. Well, friends, I uh, presume that you will be heading off to uh, the church when they announce the lottery. I think I will be heading to the market in the time being. So if anyone wants to come with me, have a look. Yeah, let's go. I am Ooh. extremely energetic and I want Looking to go explore a freaking tomb. Yeah, I, I just want to, you know, take in the atmosphere a bit, uh, see what they have in the market. I imagine it's not my a bad character... idea to get better acquainted with Wadi as well. Yes. Get, I imagine my character place. jumping up and down right now. Well, why don't we all excitement. go? excitement. <laughs> well, it's a party character then. jumping up and down with excitement, no matter what happens. <laughs> <laughs> You are, as you step outside of the inn, which is, if I remember correctly, at number 18, yes it is. Yeah. You step into a crowded, well, for a morning anyway, a crowded city. How early in the morning is it? Uh, it's it depends on how early we got up. Let's say about 10. Lazy heads. <laughs> <laughs> Call me lazy, but uh, I've had a splendid night's rest. Thank you. And well, the, the buildings all around you seem quite old. Like they have been here from the start when the city was founded, whenever that was. And... Um, well, there's a steady procession of uh, people going towards uh, the center of the city. Because people are apparently uh, all excited to see what's going to happen with, uh, with the lottery. Because, well, you hear, uh, you hear rumors, well, not really rumors, you hear, you hear some people talking to each other. And uh, apparently it's not that usual for... Um, the Church of Pharasma to open, you know, tombs for what comes down to uh, legal tomb robbing. <laughs> yeah. I can see why. Do we know why they opened them? No, you do not. Though, if uh, make a knowledge local. I'm that. I'm going to mm. ask the other party members if they know. I do not, my friend. I would defeat this. Uh, about why Frostma opens it, you mean? About why they've opened up the tombs for, well, exploring, I'd say. Yeah. Let me think. Does anyone have knowledge local? I think nope. so. Hmm. Which I mean, not me, but... Uh, yes, uh, Alai, um, you think it might have something to do with the, a few years ago, the, the current pharaoh, the ruby prince, opened um, the entirety of Osirion to what comes down to legal tomb probably. Except for Wati, Wati has always been a holdout and uh, the, the, the temple has been resisting a bit, so maybe he, he has... 
you know, put some pressure on the church. Uh -huh. Okay, so in uh, everywhere else except for Wati, it's pretty common already. Well, <clears throat> it takes a brave the man to push the church of the. The the thing is, most cities don't have a necropolis inside of it. So yeah. yes, it is it is common. Which is to say that it is common for uh, non uh, ruins that are not in a city to be open for uh, explorers. Okay. It takes a brave man to push the church of the goddess who condemns the dead into. Basically anything. Kudos to him. Yeah. By the way, who is the current pharaoh? The ruby prince. Oh. Well, I mean his, his real name. <laughs> uh, that would be... No, it's the Ruby Friends. <laughs> okay. That's his working title. Got him. Yeah, yeah. his working title. <laughs> I don't know his actual name. <laughs> like the king. I um, I will head to the market and uh, look around for a change of clothes, basically, um, and a set of sandals, because all the sand getting in my boots is getting annoying, and uh, I will change into some lighter garments uh, so I can do, find them when does the lottery start in the afternoon or uh, at noon at noon okay so we have two hours yeah it's right right nearby right yeah it's not a long walk yeah. okay I'll, in uh, fact uh, uh, no no the lottery soon. will happen at the sunburst market and uh, as you make mm. your way there, oh, you, you can see that, that um, actually a lot of people are patiently waiting already and um, well, it's an entirely different uh, view as that you had yesterday, because yesterday it was uh, rushing with people uh, buying things from the market, but today all of the ramshackle uh, market places, uh, what am I saying, markets, uh, market stalls. stalls, thank you, stalls, are nowhere to be seen. It seems that uh, mm -hmm. they've made, made, for, made way for a podium oh. at the end. Personally, and, uh, I'm pretty disappointed we didn't go five hours ago, but uh, I guess since none of you <laughs> want front row seats, we'll go right now. <laughs> I didn't you realize can... you needed a... Oh, wait. Yes, I did. <laughs> and um, now that you're here and you can take a good look around, well, as I said, this looks to be the ancient part of the city. These, uh, these pillars around you they're all exactly equally high and they're, uh, they're also evenly spaced. And as I mentioned already, one of them has um, a desiccated hands hanging from them. Locals know, is, know it as the, uh, as the pillar of second thoughts. <laughs> um, I'd like to head to the... Sorry. The is here is... soon. Yeah, I just like to stand mm. and wait. Yeah. Uh, around you, so outside of the market, uh, you see two peculiar buildings, two, two buildings that are bigger than the others. Number one, uh, you see quite, at number 12, you see quite a big building. It's, it, it seems, it almost seems to be made of gold, but of course it isn't. And, um, Ooh. well, so what is it made out of sandstone or granite or platinum? It's... They couldn't afford gold. <laughs> sandstone. It's made of uh, <clears throat> uh, what are actually the majority of the buildings here made out of 
Most of them are made of sandstone, but yeah, it's it, it, it looks like it's, it, it's shimmering in the light more so than other buildings. And uh, mm. well, it is labeled as the Sanctum of Silver and Gold, presumably a bank. Mm. And where's, where there's banks in Gularion, there's also churches of Abadar. Wow. And, um, well, a lot of, uh, <clears throat> well, you might call them guards, are actually walking around uh, the, uh, the Sunburst Market where you are. And they, they are wearing the, the typical clothes style of um, the typical Abadar colors. And uh, with a necklace, a golden necklace in the form of a, of a key. And um, they may be the ones responsible for those uh, for that pillar of second thoughts. And well, the, the, the bank, aka Church of Abadar, is contrasted completely on the other side by a dark gothic looking building the number five yeah and you've been there already that's of course yeah oh yeah scales uh, are quite big <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and the other side is of course the 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 the, uh, the, the, the church of Arasma. the grand mausoleum you've been there yesterday okay well, mainly I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't pair, find a pair of sandals here <laughs> at the market. Well, there are so, still, sure we'll uh, at the sides, somewhere. at the backs, there are still small uh, uh, small, wand- uh, small shacks with some wandering markets, uh, uh, with some oh, wandering great. vendors, so you might find one still. I- I'll head buy over it there. A, buy it from a guy walking around in sandals. <laughs> yes. No, I, I'll, I'll buy them. it from um, from one of the stalls if I can. <laughs> well, if you look yep. for uh, someone wearing in. sandals, you'll have to make a choice because basically everyone is. <laughs> well, for a tattoo or something. I don't. I don't really want to, uh, you know, get another guy's sandals. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, no, no. no, that's not what I mean. Uh, it's uh, what's a uh, Zakamil said. Ah, they're wondering. <laughs> Yeah, everyone well, is wearing sandals, basically. Come along with Vickis and make sure that he picks up something that's appropriate for the hot weather. Uh, I'll throw in a turban or some kind of head tail thing. Something that and is there cool. is indeed one of the small shakes is, uh, is selling some fine fabrics and leathers. Hmm. So okay, yes, excellent. the old man behind it can indeed help you get uh what you need hmm. I'll try to barter with him I say well listen man I'm not from around these parts but uh I do need myself some uh hot weather gear uh you don't mind trading it for my, for my awesome, splendid-looking garments I'm wearing right now. And I have and he, some... he crunches up his brows a bit and he says, And who would I sell that to here? Well, as you can see, they are wonderful ceremonial silken armor pieces. They're also hot. Yeah, they've been worn by... Yes, that is true, but it looks nice. Uh, know, keep in uh, mind that for... I'm also imagining them to look quite beat because, you know, almost two months on a boat. Nah. <laughs> Honestly, he's been walking without a shirt for most of the time, right? <laughs> That's true. Probably in good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, so basically, I'm the shirt is like. <laughs> <laughs> Say, First why does your shirt look, look <laughs> much, much less used than the rest? Um, well, it's, you see, uh, I take off my shirt. I also provide <laughs> some excellent uh, tattooing services. Uh, as you can see, I'm quite uh, quite 
the crafts master, if you will. Yes. I feel like yes. Some kind of audio now, another reason why, why you should trade me your uh, equipment for mine is because this also functions as armor while yours is just clothing. Huh. Well, it seems that you are in dire need of, uh, of some cool clothes because, well, you won't, you won't last two days in the desert with those clothes you're wearing, so... All right then. Okay, I trade in my armor, <laughs> and you get some, uh, you know, uh, the basically it's uh, the, the these white gowns. The whole point point is that they yes. that they are all covering, but also very white, so that uh, the light the, the the heat is reflected. Okay. Gonna protect your tattoos from the sun. Sorry. Gonna protect your tattoos from the sun. I think oh the yes, sun but uh, they're magical. They won't fade unless you want me to. Not want them to. You got magical tattoos. Yes. It's uh, it's the latest new rage in uh, in, in uh, uh, the Chile and gun country land. Yes. I have a feeling that if you get my gnome drunk enough, he's gonna end up with some of your t on him. <laughs> well, uh, if you if you get one of the arcane mark tattoos, they fade uh, in one month exactly. So okay. you can have a run with a tattoo, and if you decide you really like it, you can always go back and uh, I can fix you a permanent one. Oh, uh, by the way, when I uh, when I talk to you and I use your actual name, that means I'm talking out of character. So, uh, Andreas, your microphone is cutting out. Okay, I think because my you need to lower the threshold just a little bit yeah. on what it picks up and what it doesn't. Yep. I I don't so, mind background noise as much as uh, not hearing you at all. Yeah, we normally use Skype, so well, that's fine. I'll fix it. Okay, so yeah, I just need to fine tune. I changed my uh, clothing to hot weather outfit. Yes. Then, okay. I see it's now 12. Permanently. <laughs> That's the spirit. Role hey, playing. Like zero now. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Uh, completely off topic, but Peter, have you ever seen a uh, Full Metal Alchemist? Uh, I've Let's seen not get into a little that. of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's not get into that. Yeah. After um, game, Google Armstrong. <clears throat> okay. You'll uh, see what I mean. So, what what did the do the rest of you do while you watch um, uh, Vickers having his uh, partner off? <laughs> I think I'll just continue to take in the opposition. Try to. I don't know. I guess uh, I, I forgot to 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 show you some of the opposition. Yeah. Just try to figure out how we measure up relatively to all the other parties. I mean, the other parties, most of them seem to have um, a very balanced setup. Of course, you ha you have the, the 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 old group that looks like they're made out of literally four rogues. <laughs> literally four rogues. I like the sound of that. As long as you're not unchained, they shouldn't be a problem. He says immediately before dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think there was an old you, 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 would, party you would say that you have uh, um, you have some some good chances of getting out, um, you know, more alive than the others. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Well, that's all I want. <clears throat> I'll take better than average chances of surviving any day. <clears throat> It must be him that you're extremely talented, Oracle. Now, all of these ramshackle yeah, shacks uh, are actually at the the the, north, the southern end of the um of the uh, of the the the, uh, the sunburst market. And uh, while you're looking around there, 
your eye falls on several white crocodiles in a, in a, real, in a really big water pool. Is that uh, common? Are they similar what? to the crocodile in the inn? All in the inn? Uh, the number one, they're full sized, and number two, they're white. Crocodiles okay. um, make a knowledge nature. Yeah, somebody do that. I don't have nature. <laughs> I do not know what these are. That's well, an it's awful... obvious that they're crocodiles. That's that much yes. is obvious. That's a weird color for a crocodile. I Eli imagine it must is... help with the heat if you are white in the desert. I'm gonna ask Eli about them. Maybe they have some kind of religious significance? Yes. Yes, I should have actually asked Eli to also to make a, a religion check instead, but let's not do that. Uh, Eli! Um... Give me a second. <clears throat> White crocodiles um, are actually sacred to the church of Erasma. And um, they, are, they are usually... When, they, when you find them near uh, Farazman churches, they are well fed and cared for. And uh, they, are, they are actually longer lived uh, than more dangerous normal crocodiles. But as I said... They pose little threat. So but the, the, the dom important pretty domesticated, is, or well, not domesticated. It's just they 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 are not as likely to bite your hand off. Oh, nice. Well, I, I stroll over to the side of the pool and uh, I relax a bit, and I'll watch the crocodiles as I wait for noon to uh, come. <clears throat> As you watch the crocodiles croc a dial. Sorry. <laughs> the time <Continue>. passes. <gasps> hmm. And at noon, the bustling desert city of Wati is near bursting with excitement. Adventurers from every corner of the NRC region have assembled here beneath the hot Osirian sun to explore the tombs of the city's necropolis waiting only to be assigned their first sites for exploration. Surrounding the uh, participants, the public has, public has gathered to observe the ceremony as well. There is a festival-like quality in the air, and numerous street vendors are hawking goods and refre refreshments to participants and spectators alike. Some merchants have even, have even brought what can only be considered adventuring gear to sell as a last-minute convenience to explorers while others advertise that they'll buy recovered treasures and antiquities from those who visit their establishments. In front of the imposing edifice of the Grand Mausoleum, an immense awning has been erected between decorated pillars in the market to provide shade for the priests of Farazma overseeing the lottery. Beneath the awning, two urns sit atop a table elevated a few feet above the ground on a wooden stage constructed for the event. The high priestess of the Grand Mausoleum, Septi the Crocodile, sits behind the table, while two acolytes confer with her at either, at either side. And, um... What is immediately uh, obvious to everyone is, no, no matter your religion, or lack of religion as it may be, it is quite obvious that she is a bit on the young side to be a high priest. Us. And um good for her. <laughs> and uh, the excitement abates a bit. <clears throat> and eventually I'm, I'm just going to go buy a rope before it starts. And after a while, <laughs> Septi rises to her feet and looks over the crowd. As I said, she seems surprisingly young to hold such a distinguished position. Nevertheless, she has a confident air of authority. She calls for silence, and almost immediately the crowd quiets down. And she traces a spiral over her chest with her right hand, and begins talking. 
It was more than 6,000 years ago that a small city was founded by Pharaoh Jedereth II at the source of the River Sphinx. It sprang to life in less than a year and it soon dominated trade across the Syrian. That city's name was Wati and it survived political upheaval and the birth and deaths of entire dynasties. However, 4,000 years later the destiny of the city was forever warped when the plague of madness was unleashed upon the thriving populace of the city. Many of those that the disease did not kill outright were driven to murderous insanity, and within months more than half the city had fallen in painful, anguished death. Most of the survivors fled, but a stubborn minority refused to be driven out by the cult of Lomashtu's attack. The trade died off soon after, and the small remaining community struggled to keep the dead dead. It was not until half a millennium later that a Ferozman priest, Nefru Shepses, marched on, was, uh, on Wati with a small army of alchemists, masons and morticians that Wati's fortune reversed. He set out to consecrate the entire city to the Lady of Graves, starting by building the Grand Mausoleum, as she points behind her, and walling off the abandoned po part of Wati, as she points to the right. That part still functions as a necropolis to this day. Today, however, the time has come to open the necropolis to exploration and study. Although many of you have requested specific sites to explore, we must leave these matters to fate. After all, the Lady of Grace is a far better judge of destiny than we of this mortal sphere. Now, let the lottery begin. The gates of the necropolis will open at sunrise tomorrow. I suggest you use this evening to prepare yourselves for the task ahead. And use, let these rules guide you in your endeavors in this holy place. Remember how this came to pass. Remember that every slave's hut is a memorial. And you should honor the departed. May you go with the lady's blessing. And she sits back down. And... Um, at that point, the priests to her side... Yeah. At that point, the priest to her sides um, begin um, grabbing in the, 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 the urn to the right and um, they pick out a token and they call out for the, 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 the group with that matching token to come up and you indeed, you see a group go up. And it's not completely clear, of course, what happens there, but uh, it seems that they are given another token and uh, some kind of sketch. And uh, this happens a few times. And uh, about the fourth group, you see your token come up. All right. I'll head on up to the podium. I run up to the podium. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. I'll uh, walk up the podium. <laughs> she looks, uh, the, the, she looks down at the, the small, overly excited Handsome. gnome, uh, uh, jumping up and down before her, and she says, easy there. Can I have your token? Who has oh, the token? Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> Someone else has it. <laughs> Oh, he, he's with us. Uh, who has the token I, I, again? I point towards I them and... I hand over uh, the party token. Okay. We shall now assign you your first tomb. Remember, you will get three of these tombs. And after you do this, after you clear this one completely, you should return to us to get your second assignment. But let's start with the first one, shall we? And uh, she grabs in the, the other urn. And um, it is marked. Well, it's kind of marked with a with a code name. Like uh, it's uh, like there, uh, all of the tombs are in a registry, and it's just a number of the registry. The important part is that she also gives you a uh, 
a map that will point you where you need to go. And it's fairly clear how that map works, so you should not have issues finding the building that you are assigned tomorrow morning. Let me draw on the map real quick. Which one of this? Uh, sorry, one question, uh, miss. Uh, yes. What's actually stopping everyone from just entering tombs at their leisure? Uh, we will be holding patrols. Okay. I'm actually going to map mark on the map now where the first one is. Mm. A question to the while on the podium in front of thousands of people. Yeah, she she uh, she does not look quite um, prepared to answer a lot of questions, but one question that's fine. So um, and as as you are given your map, she kind of urges you to go discuss elsewhere. Thank you, Miss. Thanks for the opportunity. That's no we'll problem. And she she immediately starts grabbing into the the urn again to get the next token for the next group. And this goes on for a while. In the mm. meantime, you see on the map that your location is there. Okay. And uh, you know that it's some kind of bur bur burial site. But that's about all you do. Uh, that's about all you know. I'm guessing it would have to be a knowledge local. Get any further information from that? Not even that. You're not supposed okay. to know what's in there. Well, I personally want it to be tomorrow already, but I guess I should go get some gear for the exploration tomorrow. Well, you're in luck. As I said, there's, there are many. Many yeah. street vendors hawking their goods. I do have some gear already prepared, but if you ask, I'll check if I've already packed it. <laughs> some gear, he says. Do you have some holy water? Mm, no. Hmm. Do you have a grappling hook and some rope? Yes. Do you have a ladder for us um, vertically challenged? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Let me. <laughs> no, there's no ladder. No, 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 no. Had that. Hang on. The rope is essentially a ladder. Ooh. A ladder for which you need to make a slip climb check. Who can climb? Wow. Yeah. What if you tie knots in it? Well, yeah. you do, but it's a very simple check. No, I didn't pack the foldable ladder. I thought about it, but I didn't. <laughs> Well, if I buy it, would you bring it? I'm sure Vikas could carry it for you. Yeah. Oh, hi, are foldable letters. <sighs> I think it's about 10 feet. Oh god. <laughs> I'll check it. But, I mean, it's folding, that's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah, but how high are they when well folded out? That's the point. Uh, ah, let's pull it out. I'll find out, but in the meantime, just uh, yeah. carry on. So, Vickers, you are trained in swimming in a desert campaign. Uh, yes. Do you perhaps also have a collapsible boat? Uh, <laughs> no. Sadly, no. You, you never to take know the... when a sudden flood could happen yes. in the desert. <laughs> 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 and um, as you're standing there, the, the folding the, ladder. Could... Yes. Well, go ahead. there was plenty of water from where he was around, so he was, you know, an avid swimmer. <laughs> you go ahead, Evan. Uh, the ladder's about ten foot. A lie you found it. Okay. 
But when it folds down, it's about three foot by one foot by one foot. You have some pythons? Yes. Like you have a, a collapsible plank. plank. Tricky. No, I do not. What is this, Terraria? Like, you're not even prepared. <laughs> I know, it's embarrassing. I do have a coffee pot. <laughs> and a waffle What kind of alternative is that? It's the kind of stuff a level 1 adventure buys. Right, okay. Oh, I want myself, um, uh, you know, a, a container for tea to bring along. Like a thermos. <laughs> find one. Oh, yes. Blended. Well, I'm, I brought my I'm pretty own broke uh, as far as the rest of my uh, <laughs> funds go, so I'm done with shopping. <laughs> I do have torches, trail rations, vials, waffle iron, wander meal, sewing needle, shovel, signal whistle, sledge, soap, belts. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Well, a folding ladder and a collapsible plank are probably not bad additions. Well, if you, you have five of them, you can clearly find them. I mean, it's debatable Where's calling that? a folding ladder a adventuring supply, but why not? I'll pay for it. A few gold. Okay. So at the and, moment, uh, as as you're standing um... there, the the this well, the lottery is still ongoing, but. It's going quite swiftly. By now, they're at the 20th group. But there's more. Mm. We go okay. have a look at the... ...entrance? The what? Go have a look at the entrance. You can do that. I mean, I, I guess we're not gonna be let in there, but... Oh, you're not. <laughs> Keep in mind... Uh, scale in this city because that's actually quite a walk. Uh, especially for me. The kilometer. Well, out of character, I'm actually the most excited for the dungeon for now. So. I in character, know, we... I'm most excited for the dungeon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, same here actually, but. Um... Maybe we can do more of the uh, downtime exploration of the city between the first and second tomb. Yep. Okay. Want to make sure we have the equipment. Yeah. So I'll you spend the rest of the day getting equipped, and then I'd pick up the occasional yes. odds and that. I'd like to read up on this place, the necropolis. Find the book to read. I think there is a place for you to find a book to read. Hope so. You gonna sleep in the library again, Zach? <laughs> no, no, I can't do that because I need to be, I need to be ready for for the morning. Well, there is actually a hunter's lodge slash adventurers guild slash caravan company where you might find some research materials. Right. You hear from people? Have a look. Oh. The opposite side. Alright, I'll head over there then. I'm assuming that the rest is going to let uh, the small excitable gnome do his thing. And they just go mm -hmm. rest. <laughs> Honestly. Well, as long as he is back here and well rested, I don't really care what he does. I mean... It's like enough child to, in a to keep up with him. Yeah, any oh, specific penalties? Exciting, yeah, any specific penalties for sleeping outside the gate? Here? <laughs> no. I might do that. You borrow my sleeping room. It's gonna be <clears> big yeah. For you, it feels but... like the right choice for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be first in line when it opens. Yeah, it's, it's happening. It's mighty cold, though. I'll Actually, I'm, I'm not, yeah, that doesn't really points. matter. <laughs> I, I think that he will find a way to make it work. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to suggest... will be enough. 
I'm going to suggest to my to my good friends that we should sleep there, and I'm going to sleep there anyway, no matter what they say. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> How well, we're not you really just hold going our spot to be. And we'll um... Just join you in the morning. <laughs> no, you're one of those. <laughs> Friend, it's we're like not really Lord going to be in Rings competition, member. you know. Rooms have been divided. We don't really need to compete for ours. They will have watches set here. Your logic is literally lost on deaf ears. <laughs> <laughs> it takes selective hearing to a whole nother level. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I'll fine. first go we'll have a look. I'll first have a look for that book, and then we'll head up and. So what? Uh, I'm first going to ask, what do the other three? What do you do? I um I head back to the inn, I take off my shirt, well veil, and I make one gold by taking ten on my craft check. <laughs> that is what I'll do. Wow. Well, okay, so you all go uh, back to the inn and do inly things, right? No, before Vicus takes off, I'm gonna suggest that we all meet at the inn and have dinner together, and we can talk a little bit about. Uh, tactics and how we should cooperate. Okay. And I'm gonna spend the day visiting Vadi's different armors and maybe seeing if there's somewhere I could borrow or even rent a smith. Maybe. Okay, I'm just going to go. I um, want to start some projects on the road. So you're, you're going to all meet back at the end at uh, for for the dinner, but until then mm -hmm. you're yeah. all going to do your own thing, which for uh, for Vickers is just. Hawking his goods. Well, in more Pretty ways much. than one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for philosophy. Okay, I'm now, now I'm going to switch back to the Kramil. Yeah. Cool. More to marry. And, um. You're gonna get mugged. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> well, in our anal circumference. <laughs> On a gnome, that's gonna be a low roll. Yeah. I think lower was better, right? Oh no, because then. Uh, oh. God, I so Shut up, shut up. <laughs> and, um. So, Kamil, as you enter that door of the, the, the. Well, it's. It's quite. It's not really the most fancy looking building you've ever seen, but it will do. It's, it's standing, which is the most. I imagine part. I wouldn't notice, really. Yeah, okay. As you enter, book. you see how you might imagine a, 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 a medieval travel agency to look. <laughs> Alright. And there is a half orc man standing behind uh, the counter. And uh, quite uh, a bit gruffly, but well, he looks nice and love. He, um,. He introduces himself as a as Turk and asks you how he can help. I immediately start asking about his um, wide range of books and what I'd be interested in. Well, and at the end of that statement, I introduce myself. <laughs> you seem eager. Well, I am. <laughs> I think I could help you a bit on uh, on necropolis research. I mean, it, it surprises me if you you are actually the first one to come ask for some necropolis research wares. And um, say, how's your Assyrian or Syriani? Um, mostly mighty fine. Though perhaps with quite a few holes in it, especially uh, local phrases and... Good, good, good. And, uh, the, and the force he, and such, I'll struggle with those. He points you to a, a small back room, which is quite... Well, as I said, it's small, that's like, it's the size of a, of a, of a, of a walk-in closet. With bookshelves on all four sides, <laughs> all three sides, because one is where you enter. 
And oh, um, I know where I'll be renting a room when we get back. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have occupancy, there. sir. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> okay, um... You, you find a few books that are on the Necropolis. But what okay, do you want I... to know? Um, I'd like to learn uh, some bit more, a bit more about the uh, history, the about the incident. Well, it's actually quite vague on most of that. The gist is that uh, there was a cult of Lamashtu that uh, released a plague upon uh, Wati, which kind of decimated the entire city in months. And um, symptoms are going insane and then dying. <laughs> right, okay. Also this then something... coming back alive and, uh, uh, and infecting others. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Hence, they ha uh, which is why they had so much trouble keeping the dead actually dead. Okay, well I imagine they think um, it's no longer going to affect anyone since they're going to open it up. Well, it's been uh, 6,000 years. No, 7,000 even. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> It should be fine. Part. Okay. Alright, well... <laughs> I guess there's no books... I'm going to just look, but I guess there's no books about the disease itself. Uh, what, what kind of information would you like to have on the disease? Uh, how to get rid of it would be especially nice. And maybe... Um, finding out if you had it. Apart from the insane part. Um, well, the thing is, the symptoms are, the, the reason why it was so effective, it states, still in the, the book about uh, the necropolis, Yeah. Um, the reason why it was such an effective disease is that it, it was, it, was, it had very, very similar uh, symptoms to mind fire. Okay. I mean, back then, medical te uh, medicine wasn't uh, evolved to such a degree yeah. that they actually m had proper treatment options. Well, on top of uh, this information, if I have any more time, I'd like to find out if there's any special buildings we should be on the lookout for in this area. Maybe monuments or... I actually don't think that you would be very good at spotting those. Um, I, I would say that uh, that you're kind of too excited that you would uh, think every single building is uh, the greatest thing since last... That's very true. All well, I guess buildings I'll just read are amazing. <laughs> I guess I'll just read about them till, till nightfall and then hurry up to the gate. Okay, I'll I'll switch over to Ally and Elas now. Yeah, that's fine. Ally and Elas, you were going to Armors, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. If where they are. Actually, quite funny. Um, Wati doesn't have a smithy. I mean, what? you can buy weapons, but it doesn't have its own smithy. Wati mostly specializes in garments, rugs, incense, perfume. All in the market. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. 
<laughs> okay, they don't even like have a basic blacksmith that does horseshoes or wagon. I, was, I suppose you could find one of those. I mean, well, actually, no. It's a desert. Why would they need horseshoes? Camel shoes. They don't. They don't <laughs> there's no such things. <laughs> So no, there's actually Well, I guess not. it depends on whether or not they use horses. They use camels. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, there, there are general stores and such where you can buy general things. Yeah, like, I mean, if they do any kind of farming, then they're probably still going to need some kind of metalworking, but... Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Let's well, see. Sounds like somebody's going to have to read up on the business rules. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I meant. In which we find another way to break well by level by <laughs> starting an <laughs> entrepreneurship in Wati that takes over the entire economy. It takes like six months to build it anyway, so it's not like we're gonna finish it. Are exactly are you going to take over the entire economy? Are you going to craft horseshoes and hope for the best? Yes. Then we'll throw them at people. Because they don't know what <laughs> it is. Completely stopped. Okay, uh, Ally, anything from you? Not really, I was just following him because yeah. if they're thickers than his, well, the two business. Or the Kremiel and his, you know, the Kremiel. I can understand why you would follow Elas. <laughs> well, wow. I, I, the way I would here. see it is that Sukamil, as soon as he heard about the adventure skill, just rushed off in that direction without me interfering. I was like, I'm not gonna yeah, even no try like getting after up. him. <laughs> so, and Vickers, well, his tattoo thing doesn't really. S it's, it's like, oh, he's doing it again with his shirt. Okay. I, mean, I would like to point like out that a, that a full sprint from Sukamil is basically a, a stiff walk for you. <laughs> yeah, okay. But still, but okay. he's a yeah, bit too I, I... Uh, hyperactive. Yes. I will see if we can find a doctor to uh, uh, to give him some Ritalin. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we'll slip it in his drink. <laughs> yeah, just grind milk. some down of this root and then it'll, it should turn well, milky. Go... You will sleep really nicely. <laughs> Well, or a spell can help. Like a sleep spell. Perfect. <laughs> so as you are... Um, <laughs> yeah. As that's, you return uh, fruitlessly uh, from your search, you, you find many stores. You find... Uh, you As I said, you find a, a, a incense and perfume store. Several of them, even. You find a whole row, a whole street filled with... Um, uh, with, with, with textiles. Which would be at number nine. Help me look for number nine, please. Mm. Uh, bottom right. Yeah. This is a whole street filled with uh, textile shops. And there's actually one building. Uh. You uh, eventually even even find yourselves in the veins. And uh, to your dismay, they mostly process wood into charcoal, charcoal and tar there. And uh, something else that is really obvious about the veins is that there's literally swarms of mosquitoes there. Most uh, most locals that are actually in the veins uh, are covered in a sticky black substance. And uh, you, you 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 find out why because the the mosquitoes are quite annoying. But alas, so it's an insect repel. Yes. Yep. But the, the whole point is uh, that you do not end up finding a smithy. And the time for uh, oh. supper arrives. Oh, unless you still want to do something? Uh, no. I think I'm good. Like? Okay. The time for supper no. arrives. Who's back at the end? Everyone, I guess. 
Uh, I'm Sipsicorin. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, oh, I'm, I'm not back. I thought so. Hmm. Well, I know for sure that you will be there when the gates open tomorrow, so let's not worry about our friend. <laughs> Find me. <clears throat> I'll just eat trail rations. <laughs> While reading books. Yeah, it's happening. Yes. You are treated with delicious evening meals of your choice. He's late. Excellent. Now it's your turn to RP. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not really sure. We've already been basically... Yeah. Uh, for a while now, so if you guys are okay with it, I think we can just speed this up till next day. But I kind of yeah. picture that we just spend the night kind of talked about abilities and preferred tactics and what spells apply. I, I stress that uh, that I like it here because I, I get plenty of sleep and I feel pretty fresh to, you know, use a sword in combat. Should be fine. <clears throat> yeah. And that's all. Night passes. Sakamiel, what happens yep. during the night? Hopefully nothing. Are you still going to sleep literally in front of the gate? I are there guards there? Yes. Yes, then we'll sleep there. That should be fine. <laughs> I'll chat up the guards beforehand. Make sure that they find me likable enough to wake me up if something happens. <laughs> well, Hmm. <laughs> Ro roll a yeah. sense motive. Oh god. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's wisdom, not charisma. <laughs> <laughs> they love you. Could have been worse. Mm, excellent. Everybody should. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, you, you feel that you can sleep there safely. But as I said, night passes. And you do indeed sleep safely. And the other three, um, well, it's early daybreak and you're kind of woken up by the, the general ruckus of other groups getting ready to leave as well. There's like a, a serious ruckus on the top floor. Everyone is scrambling to get ready and uh, to leave for high adventure. Well, good luck. We have a certain gnome there holding our place for us. <laughs> so, that is not an excuse to be late, mister. Um, I'm going to have a nice breakfast and then uh, move along together with the rest. Now I should do the That's thing good. that they did on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <clears throat> nah. Never a good way to start a sentence. Anyway, uh, you do that because I I have this sense that you're you really want to get started. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exclamation! And uh, as as you make your way to the gate. You indeed find Zakramiel already there, waiting near the open gate. He looks very uncomfortable. Zakramiel, did you know that sand gets everywhere? <laughs> now I do, apparently. <laughs> yes. Didn't have much experience with, experience with it before, but uh, I am. <laughs> do you happen to have a portable shower, Elos? It's in my other boat trunk. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, oh. Totally ready to go in. Yep, let's find our tomb. Uh, 
And you make your way to the tomb. Exciting, isn't it? You have no trouble actually finding it. It's quite a while. It just does in. Everyone? Is everyone just rushing in the gates or what? They're, they're checking everyone's token. Okay. And kind of... I... Kind of pointing you in the general right direction, but they know that you have maps, so they just... Like, they point you in the right street to start that. You know what I mean? They get with the first to enter? Uh... Actually, the rest kind of took their time on back breakfast, so... God damn it! <laughs> I brought you a breakfast roll. Oh, they find me in the tomb. <laughs> How can you be in the tomb? You don't have the token. I still have the token. Yeah, they, the token. they wouldn't even let him amazing. in without us. <laughs> oh, poor him. I'm gonna dig my way under the wall. <laughs> I hate you guys. Uh, I'm assuming that he's kind of, he, he looks very, very desperate to enter, like, like he's jumping up, literally jumping up and down, waiting. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I wonder what your character's gonna be like in about 10 levels after all the crap he's seen then. <laughs> not very strong insane. leg muscles. <laughs> I'm picturing this war weary, tired old gnome. All his friends have died. I guess while I wait, I'll I'll spend some great water spells and shower myself. Uh, oh, you have great water. Excellent. Yeah. I uh, I I, I cast I cast ray of frost on some of the water to make ice cubes. <laughs> so. Yeah, that would have been nice if you were there, but uh, you're not. So that is going to come in super handy with my portable bathtub. <laughs> yes. That's right. how we break the book by level. Well, ice cubes. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm counting my daily resources up from zero. Yeah, that's fine. Mind, okay. Okay. As you make your way to your first assigned place, you see. That a rectangular stone, mo stone mausoleum sits alone in what appears to have once been an actual cemetery. The trunks of a few dead trees poke out of the sand around the tomb. And a hot breeze whistles through the des their desiccated branches. A set of massive stone doors, a stone double doors is affixed to the northern side of this structure. Beneath a facade bearing the likeness of an Assyrian man. Wind-blown sand is heaped around the crypt. Partially burying the do doors that lead within. Yeah, hey, uh, Alai, can you um, cast this scroll on me, please? And I hand her uh, a mage armor scroll. At least you think uh, it's a mage armor this? scroll. We'll get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. You can never be too careful. Uh, before you do that, what's the duration of mage armor again? An hour. Okay, One hour. before you do that, you should know that, as I described, the sand is kind of heaped around the door, so you don't think that you'll be inside within the hour. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah perhaps before I, we I enter, think... we will do that, but let's Your clear character the door would realize, uh, uh, Vickers would realize that he would not be inside for at least an another hour. I think both of us will realize that. Yes. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Um, do we have a better way to um, deal with the sand? Well, what, let me first say what you see, see Vickers. So Vickers, you can read Ancient Osiriani. Anyone else? Ancient Osiriani? Ancient Osiriani. I speak no. Okay, so I speak only... normal Osiriani. Yeah, but that's not gonna help here. Vickers... A name is engraved upon the doors, Akentepi, and below it are two dates, 2416-2488. Hmm. Do you share that so information? 
Supposedly that guy whose tomb this is is Akantepi. Says here on the tin. <laughs> Who has knowledge history as that information is shared? Roll it. Wow. Uh, Zach Ramiel, you get a plus two because you uh, read about the plague <laughs> like yesterday. Yeah, okay, nice. Um, <laughs> that's 11, Zach Ramiel, that's 11 years before the plague actually struck. This is a tomb oh. that's pre plague. It'd be pretty safe then, guys. That's awesome news. It should be yes. pretty safe anyway, but. <clears throat> Let's uh, crack this baby open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give and the Alice, shot to Vickers. Uh, does any, has everyone filled in his passive perception, or does any, everyone almost have zero? I have um, zero. Double check. I have zero. minus one. Six. Huh, okay, so it's... Yeah, okay. I, I, I just thought it was uh, uh, strange that everyone had zero, except for two people. Elos. Oh, God. <laughs> you you notice that uh, uh, that the doors are on concealed hinges and that they should swing outwards, which might be an issue as they are blocked on the outside by sand. Okay, but if we dig out the sand, then it probably wouldn't be that hard to open them. Uh, you don't know that. Well, actually, they should be quite easy to open, as you can see the. Traces of mortar, uh, a mortar around the jam. Like, they were meant to be sealed, but as they are traces of mortar, they are no longer sealed. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna ask Vickers, or better yet, uh, do I think I could get at the hinges with a crowbar? Uh, yeah. Because we could either dig out the doors, which is going to take a while, or we could just stick the sledgehammer to yeah, yeah. No, no, the uh, sledgehammer okay. to, to they, beat they away are, whatever uh, is concealing the hinge and then break them open with a crowbar. Number one, remember the first Gotta rule. Like a tomb raider. Uh, yeah, the the third. In and out, remember? no witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Show respect to the tombs. That's oh, the yeah. You're not opening. <laughs> um, and um, as I, uh, the, the 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 doors are actually flat, uh, flush to the outside. Okay. Let's just so, do the sand. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, you can you can get a a, a, a thing uh, a crowbar within it, but sand is very heavy. You know that, right? Yeah, uh, I was thinking that we could use the sand as a pivot point and just bend the doors halfway down and then walk over them and then. Uh, I think we're, we're imagining the doors but, completely differently. That is very possible. But uh, let's just dig them out. That works too. Well, I'll give Vickis a shovel and I'll grab a bag and just start scooping sand into the bag and moving it out of the way. Vickis, do you shovel? Do I need to make a check for that? No. For shovelry! Okay. And it takes no more than an hour of sweaty labor. Uh, Zakramil, by the way, the doors do not open themselves. <laughs> um, but eventually, nice you manage to get them... Uh, <laughs> Come on. You uh, eventually, yeah, you eventually get them, <laughs> get the, the sand out of the way. So, uh, so the double doors, as I said, which uh, with 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 with, with hidden hinges that swing outward, so you can indeed get your crowbar between them to open them. Let's first just try to open them normally. If you're stuck. We can always crowbar them up afterwards. I'll ask Alai to do the scroll on me now. Okay, I'll cast it on you now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, make a strength check, whoever is opening them. Mm. 
I look at Elos. I am gonna strong. pass the honor to Vickis. Yes. 18. Dota Stark. I'll throw in a takedown to help him. Uh, still stuck. Okay. Seem to be. Uh, you don't get a, a proper grip on. on the door. Okay, the crowbar adds plus two, and I add another two. Because of take that. Ah, when you use that, uh, yeah, oh. but I thought you weren't using the crowbar at start. But when you use the crowbar, you ah. manage to pry it open, and it slowly opens, and you get a view of the dusty inside. Boom. Yeah. You. Well, I guess our work here is done. Let's head on home, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put the crowbar and the sledgehammer and the hammer back and the shovel <laughs> back in I my draw my claim bag of kids. And This yeah, rectangular room is hand. empty, save for some engravings and fixtures upon the walls. A pair of heavy stone doors to the north and an immense stone wheel against the stone south wall. The air is stale and a layer of dust and sand covers the floor, lying in a thicker layer to the south. All four walls bear sunk relief en uh, engravings and hieroglyphs, while small stone faces are affixed to the walls at about shoulder height in each co corner. The stone wheel to the so south is engraved with a large spiral and is set in stone tracks in the floor and ceiling. And you all, of course, know what that, sto uh, what that spiral means. It's a holy the symbol of uh, Phrasma, isn't it? That is correct. That's common knowledge. Technically, okay. it's a DC-10 religion shack, but I'm not going to make you do a religion shack for literally one of the two gods worshipped in this city. And having one of them that actually worship uh, one of them. Yes, technically, you two like would need really, to make really it. really, easy take time. Okay. The dusts and sand seem to indicate that, well... This room has not been entered for at least a few decades. Well, let's check and uh, see if we have anything of interest here. Well, yeah, again, I'm gonna you can see the, the hieroglyphs spirit. on the walls. Yes, and it is, they describe the life of Akantepi. He was a celebrated military commander who presided over the troops garrisoned in Wati prior to the city's downfall. And the hieroglyphs also warn. Akintepi's tomb is well defended, and those who defile attempt the wrath of the gods. An additional warning advises. The only thing the Lady of Graves despised more, despises more than a grave robber is the unsuccessful grave robber. Followed by a, a final admonishment to turn back while you still can. Mm. So either take off or rob us successfully? Alright, yes. Yeah. I'm kind of uh, leery about these uh, heads. I'm gonna try and check them out, and I'm gonna be very careful not to put my face in the. How should I put it? The line of effect they're facing. I'm scared, or I'm, I'm worried that they're gonna shoot something out of their mouths or eyes or something like that. Pew pew! Okay, make knowledge uh, religion checks. Well, actually, yes, uh, Alai, the two, the two faces to the south. You immediately recognize as those are the uh, as depictions of um, of um, Farazma. However, the other two are not so clear. Knowledge religion, please. Can I swap it up with a lore check? Nope, because it's not Farazma. Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't have for the religion, so. Oh. No, they're not familiar to you, the other two faces. Well, they're the same face, but. And, um. Uh, Illas, as you're looking, 
You seem that they are designed in such a way that if you put a torch in them, the, the light will create a halo above their heads. Very cute and deity-ish. Then they won't bring torches. 17. <laughs> Someone is prepared. Actually, I only have 10, but that should be enough. Well... Actually, this is a good time to actually get some light effects going as well, if we're gonna keep... I'm guessing this room is already getting kind of dark. No, it's not getting dark. Really? Very it's bright light. outside. Okay, fair enough. In that case, let's just... Um, I'll light four torches and put one in each mouth. Nothing happens. But your... Uh, your uh, your guess was correct. They do in in indeed appear to have a, a halo above their heads. Is there anything distinguishing the halo? Just the halo. Is there anything else on the slab here? It, uh... Well, there was a wheel. <laughs> I'm gonna do the tech wheel. magic and have a look around in the room. Uh. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, give me a second. Oh, what was your last question, Sakamil? I'm gonna cast Detect Magic and have a look around in the room. You do not actually detect magic in the room. Okay. And, uh... I think it's... You notice uh, some pythons that could be used as handholds in the, the wheel. Yeah, I tried to turn the wheel. Give me a second. It, it seems very, very, very heavy. As you, as you turn, you, you cannot really budget on your own. But hold it right there. Mm. Oh, how heavy is heavy? Is it like he has absolutely no chance of moving it? Or is it more like if everybody puts their back into it, we might be able to get it to shift? Uh, if everyone pushed their back into it, you w might be able to get it to shift. But... Um, while you were looking around in the room... It seems that... A, uh, a small, quite territorial animal has... Uh, uh, has made its way into you. And you, you feel a sting... On your ankle, the camel. Oh. Where? I actually made a stealth check. So where did it come in from? Is there a hole in the room? Oh, like I could from hear the outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it is quite hot out there, so. Well, it it, uh, it sees you and it, uh, it what uh, what does what kind well, of? how can it make a stealth roll if it doesn't have concealment? You were looking around, and it's a ghost scorpion. It can do that. <laughs> Clearly, it made a partial charge from outside. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it has wandered oh. in, hiding in the corner, Did and, it hit uh, me trying though? to trying to go for uh, trying to find cool air. Which it found inside of here, but yeah, it's quite territorial and it does not like other people in there. So, yes, you feel a sting in your ankle. Did it actually hit me? I don't know. You might feel a sting in your ankle. Sorry. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah, that was confusing. Okay, let's go. See if the sting happens or not then. You feel a sting in your ankle. Did it take any damage? Yes. Oh, there we go. I didn't. I make a fourth save. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. And you're dead. Uh oh. Wait, is that all the way GG, guys. Home? Let's go home. <laughs> it's been a good run. Okay. Set yourself on the first part of the uh, of the strength track. The what chain. track? The strength track. How do I open unchained? Uh, go to the uh, poison and disease system, and then read what it says under uh, strength check track. You're weakened, so that's one hundred and thirty-nine. Take... It's the page now. I'll take three damage first. Let's see. Oh, you can just continue, I need to uh, read. Yeah, page 139 in Unchained. Alai! You see what is happening. Uh, do I know what it is? Can I do an ulse check for it? Uh, you might be able to know, it's a vermin. Dungeoneering. Isn't that nature? Really? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, nature. Nature. Yeah, nature is the most useful one in general. So, nature. That's, by the way, free, so everyone who has it can do it. Yeah, you know exactly what it is. Hell yeah. It is a ghost scorpion. They, they tend to seek refuge in cold in, uh, in colder areas in the heat while it's hot outside. And, um... They're quite nimble. They can see in the dark. They have tremor sense. They're quite stealthy, because they're partially translucent. Uh, they can also make a, a strength poison happen, which can be sa uh, which can be cured with one save. By the way. Okay. And um. Anything else you need to know? Uh... Does scorpions have any uh, particular meaning for, for Asma? <laughs> Not that I know, it's just a scorpion that happened to walk in, seeking, co uh, seeking coolness. Okay. Ah yes, it can pounce. With claws and, and stinger. But, you know basically everything about it. Alay, what do you do? Uh, it's only a measly scorpion. You know what? Famous last words. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, let me see. Fine. <laughs> Not really much you can do. You can hit it. Yeah, I'll shoot it. <laughs> Go ahead. You hit it? For 3 damage. It takes... It, uh, it, it kind of... Uh, tries to, to, you know... Claw and sting you as well. Claw. That's a claw. That's a stinger. The claw hits. Oof, I made a claw. For two damage. Elas. Yeah, I am gonna take a five foot step here. And I'm gonna use the swift action to do uh, encouraging roar. So everybody gets a plus two morale bonus to attacks and damage. And then I'm going to try to skewer it with my spear. Okay. Uh, that damage should be too higher. Yeah. Also that attack should so be too high as well. So 18 to hit and 10 damage. No, uh, the attack is correct. Just ah. didn't fully update. It caught my attack change but not my damage change. I uh, used the uh, exclamation point set. What's and, this thing uh, in the parentheses next to 8? 
It's my uh, confirmation roll. <clears throat> okay. Just three d eight. Yeah, in case I get a crit. Okay. All oh, right. What do the rest of you do? For um, Vickers, what do you do in this turn? You see know. it go down as the as it is skewered. I look at it. Okay. With my weapon still drawn. <laughs> so Kramiel, the poison is yet cursing through you. Make another fort save. You managed to shake it off. Nice. But you're still, still weakened though, right? Yeah. Yeah. For every day of bed rest, you recover a step. Okay, uh, I think I'll actually... ...and the channel. Yeah, I'm gonna do a channel. Um, I'll use selective channeling and avoid the... ...possibly completely dead scorpion thing. Well, I'm gonna keep stabbing it, so it's gonna be dead in... Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. It's gonna be dead soon enough. Oh, okay. Everyone is back to full. With that short combative intermezzo out of the way, right. you find yourself back at peace. Anyway, I'm going to turn this wheel if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Okay, who is helping? Oh, and yeah. give me your strength scores. 18. Uh, I am. 13. Okay, that's enough. And, uh,. Dustly and uh, it's very dusty, you know, that stone dust that comes loose when you uh, turn over such an old wheel. But you managed to open it. Was the clanking? No clanking. Oh. And this square room is starkly devoid of any markings or adornments. In the center of the chamber's floor, a square shaft drops straight down into darkness. A faint, musty odor rises from the pit. A single python has been hammered into the stone floor by the northeast corner of the pit, and a dusty length of rope dangles from the python into the darkness of the shaft. Have to climb, oh god. Hmm. Well, Someone lower me down. Rope. Well, clearly, somebody's already been there, but seems like they haven't been there for a while. How old is the rope? Oh, the it, python, for that matter. You don't know, but it, it's thorough, thoroughly ro uh, rotted, and as you as you look at it, nothing happens. But if you go to touch it, it literally crumbles in your hands. Oh, that's old. Uh, would it be fair to say that the tracks are fairly well conserved? In fact, not, because even though it's kind of sealed, there's a lot of dust. Okay, so this is, uh, well, then I'm not gonna bother looking for tracks. Several decades is enough for any and all tracks to be covered by dust, I would say. Yeah. Okay. I reach into my bag of tricks and I pull out. Uh, how far down does it look like it goes? Uh, you have low light vision. Um, I'd well, be able to you... look uh, 80 feet down. You see the bottom barely. Well, not barely. It's about 60 feet down. Mm. Okay, so uh, two ropes with knots on them should do it. Just lower me down. <laughs> I want to take off your armor. Yeah. I would also like to be lower down. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I can make that happen. Uh, I'm also... Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, putting knobs. Putting knobs. Like I'm gonna start off. putting knots on uh, my one of my ropes. I'll do the other. Yeah. I'm also gonna take a close look at that python to see if it's still secure. And if not, I'll put down my own python instead. It actually looks quite secure still. 
what also immediately obvious as you look at the shaft is that it is made of completely smooth stone. It almost looks as if, it's, as, if it's, as if it has been deliberately constructed to be hard to climb. Right. That's not a bad thing at all. Okay. I tie an end to the python. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to take off my breastplate. Yeah, I, I take off my armor as well. Where do you keep it? Uh, Hammer space. <laughs> I'll put it in my bag of tricks. That's something that's always so strange. How is armor when worn giving you a penalty but not when carried on your back? <laughs> oh, it still does if it pushes you into medium encumbrance. But okay, this is why I don't wear armor. So maybe I should go first. Well, I, I, I heard that the Camille was going to be uh, let down. Yeah, that would well lower down. Lower what down. can still do that second, a second to last, you know? I guess, what's your climb check? Or... Plus eight. Okay. You know what, if you, if you go down first, I can lower down to Cromiel. He doesn't weigh more. Yeah, There's okay. Not an issue so I take they can them. also catch me when I fall. <laughs> You can be my hero, babe. <laughs> um, Elas, as you let the Kremil down, you hear ow, 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 <laughs> ow, ow, <laughs> as he smashes a guy. That's about par for the course. Yeah, it's kind of hard <laughs> to drop that someone down um, evenly. It's easier if you brace with your legs instead of your head. <laughs> <laughs> with my face. <laughs> a lion, Elas. Also, Vic, is, uh, how much light is your... Uh... It's the same as a torch, the light spell. 20, 20. 20 bright, or 20 normal, and 20 dim. I'll put my armor on again as soon as I get down. Oh, and when the claymore disappears, I actually light up a torch. I'll take Actually, even better, I'll take one of the torches from the heads outside. Yes. None of you guys have dark vision. Could, we, we could throw one down, too. True. Actually, yeah, might as well. I'm gonna move away from that hole just in case someone falls down. Uh, it's quite, uh, with that lot of rope, leap. it's quite easy to make the 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 the, the jump, uh, the, the 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 climb. And as you look up in this room, you see that if you did not make a rope, it would have been impossible to get out again because it is constructed in such a way that uh, the the shaft is actually in the middle of the ceiling of this room. Mm -hmm. So there's no way to climb up to it. Ah, uh, right. It would be a death trap if you were not prepared for it. Mirrored images of a warrior in sight profile facing inward are carved on an ornate pair of stone doors in the west wall of the square room. The figure is depicted wearing padded armor with a scarab-shaped shield on, his, on the arm facing the viewer and a raised kopesh held aloft in the other. A crumpled humanoid body lies directly in front of the doors. A hint of decay hangs in the air, and a dried stain mars the stone floor under the body. A square shaft in the ceiling leads straight up into darkness. Well, not into darkness, because there's actually light up there. Okay. Just, uh, I'd like to take a knowledge religion. Three on the statue. Well, which statue? Bigger? The image oh, on the door is the carving. Yeah, oh, sorry, the carving. That's what I meant. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. But that's not really Which... a need. They're, they're clearly uh, depicting wait, the, wait, wait. the. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold back to Chrome a little bit when he starts to walk up against the door. No need to get. Can all I see any? Need to be eager. <laughs> Can you see any, any ancient Assyrian scriptures on the doors? Like, trap here. <laughs> Turn handle right. No, but uh, you, you, you can see that the, the guy on the on the, the floor, uh, on the door, is obviously the same guy you saw, uh, 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 that you saw engraved on top. And um, he is the, the, the inhabitant of this tomb in his younger, less dead years. Uh... 
can I assume that your crumpled humanoid bodies were in clothes? Um, Armor? Or... Well, actually... What? What are you trying to say that this is the guy that was buried here, or...? No, I, no, I wanted the, to the, put the... my spare in his outfit to pull him closer. The guy on the uh, the guy that was buried here is uh, is depicted on the door. Oh, yeah, in his okay. younger days, and this the dead body the on the floor. Raiders, most likely. Uh, make a heal check. Well, first off, I just want to snag him up my spare and pull him closer. I don't really want to approach the door. Well, that's why the I body in front of the door is is mostly skeletal, and he's uh, he has this, a thin layer of desiccated tissue. Hmm. Excellent. And uh, well, okay. well, uh, his his gear has suffered through decades of rot and rust. I think I see where you're going with this, but I'm gonna take a look at his gear anyway. Just uh, quickly rifle through his pockets, try to get some idea who he was or what he was doing, or, or how much cash he had on him. Gold does tend not to us. That is very true. Well, you find a couple of presentable metal uh, uh, metal pythons and a usable usable hammer, as well as two uh, files of alchemist fire that somehow remain unbroken. Is that what I think it is? Alchemist fire. That, that too. Um, <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm sure that's gonna come in handy. Uh, hmm. right. uh, is anyone here particularly good with thrown weapons? Nope. I have a plus one. Not really. Okay. Plus two. I have a plus four, so okay. I guess you I'll take, take at least one of them. I'll take both. <clears throat> Okay, I'll take both. Now for, uh, now for a uh, heal check, I asked. Well, I don't have. Um, I have healing. <laughs> oh. really? Does does anyone have ranks in heal? No. I will next level, but I don't have it oh now. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Brought loads of heals. It's clearly the optional skill for a life oracle of life and lifeliness and living. Yeah, but I've just been using my magic. I'm spending all my resources on reading and... And you never once picked up a medical book? Those are boring. Well, anyone can make a roll, though, so... I will... Heal... Six. It is a skeletal body. Yes. <laughs> Alai, it looks to be, I mean, you're not, you're not sure because, as you know, the air is mostly cartilage, so it, it, it's, it's either a half-elf male or a human male. But um, the most important thing you notice is that uh, both of his legs are broken. Oh, maybe he fell. Pre pre yeah. pre presumably from a fall from a great height, and well, it seems that he crawled to the door where he unfortunately expired. Such okay, as old chap, let's have a look at what's down here. Yeah, let's try and open this. Dust to dust. Well, dust to bones. Well, bones to dust, to dust. Supply and bone dust. You get my message on Skype though. Ah, um. Ah, yes. A little bit late now. <laughs> oh, it's still, it's still not late. Yeah, don't do those things on Skype because I don't read that. Oh, well, that's not a whisper as well. I find that the best way to send messages is through OWL. Say that again, Ivan? I found that the best way to pass messages is through OWL mail. 
All right. It's fine. You were looking nicely written postcard. The music just suddenly became more quiet, even. Uh, I might have. Just yeah, you're just louder now. Yep. Can we open the door? I guess. Waiting on Mr. GM? Uh, I'm waiting no, wait. on oh, Mr. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Zok is doing something awful behind oh, us what? right now. I could do a roll and GM. You can't, the slash GM roll. Oh, it's the GM. <laughs> uh. It is silent though, just saying. <laughs> yeah, but you are in silent. Silent, but deadly. <laughs> Very silent. Make you cannot silent contain casting. your giggling. That's fair enough. <laughs> what fair the? Enough. F <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> he attempted to play a prank, but he kind of uh, uh, gave himself away by giggling too loudly. But uh, <sighs> the door is actually quite heavy. So, strength checks all around. Text. You're not gonna go through with my spell, you bastard. Uh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> yes, it's open. I'll give the uh, crowbar and I'll take ten to help. <laughs> Great. Uh, tell us, uh, uh, Vegas is basically just boot to the door. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit you down sometime and explain how crowbars work, aren't I? <laughs> Why do you need a crowbar when you have a, a shoulder like this one? <laughs> well, you just said in this case. It open. <sighs> Let me wait, wait, wait. Always wait until I read. That's what we were waiting for. The walls of this ten foot wide corridor feature bas bas relief carvings of great battles. Armies with spears and shields clash at the direction of generals, while others, while other leaders direct troops from chariots that are ruthlessly overrunning their enemies. Engraved stone double doors stand at either end of the hallway. Yeah. Interesting. Fascinating. Okay, let's, let's get moving. Sure. <laughs> Tiny bit of panic. Step by step movement. Stop. <laughs> A light just triggered the trap. No, actually Wait, not. Yeah, that's what Vickers did. Because Vickers you... ran bastard. <laughs> Uh, as you you move closer to the door with the goal of open it, opening it, you happen to miss a pressure plate beneath your feet, Elas. And as you set your foot down, you hear click, and then you suddenly notice. You become acutely aware of uh, of uh, small slits in the walls, on both sides, oh, in the entire oh, length oh. of the corridor. On the bright side, Vekis is giving me cover. <laughs> I would like to point out uh, that uh, that I am, every time I do something like this, I am rolling a passive perception. So, yeah. if any of you would have seen That's it, you I would have not. seen it. Okay. That's also why the, the Scorpion was able to stealth. Yeah. We were lying Nobody on specifically passive. said, I am going to look for a Scorpion or an enemy or something like that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Maybe you should start announcing in every room that you look for traps, Elas. <laughs> I'll just make a macro. Then you still yeah. need to say where you look. Fair enough. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh. <clears throat> oh, who's getting it? Everyone? 19 is me, so I'm guessing the other one was. Uh... 12 will be me. 16 is me. So everyone. Oh, good. Share the agony together. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you share the agri agony together as darts uh, shoot shoot into the well one single volley of darts shoot through the hallway. Uh, uh from what side? Like lengthwise or both? Uh, uh, uh top and bottom. Like this. Wow, that's fake as well. Oh, uh, I actually accidentally had you selected. I was going for Vickers first. Ah. Well, if that hit me, I was down. That's you, a lie. Oh. Elos. Ow. <laughs> and now Zack. And Zack Kramiel. Last one? Yes, that's the last one. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me you have 9 HP. Or 8. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel the pressure releasing under your foot. Oh, good. Well, I'll cast oh. a. Uh, I'll energy, I take it. Nah, you're fine. I'll cast another ca channel energy, I take it. Six. Thank you. Probably even cast another one. But now it has to be a two again. Another one, please. I'm pretty close to full. Yeah, I think I'll have wasted it if I do another one, but... I'm like one HP from full, so... Yeah. Then. Vickers? I'm uh, 3 HP from full. But yeah, I'll just save it then. stay behind you and because you have slightly higher AC, you can tank. Yeah. Right. Of course, I'm armed with a reach weapon. but I'm sure. gonna study these murals a bit, I think. <laughs> they contain arrow slits. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, uh, it's the same guy on the as on the the front door, but this time he looks older and he's riding in a chariot and he's carrying the the, the same scarab shield. Well, let's get going. I open the door. So would it be logical Strand to check. assume he's the person in the grave? Wait, these are all heavy stone doors in this entire dungeon. Let's make a good habit out of this. I check the door for traps with my. Minus one perception. I'll uh... It's perfectly safe. I I agree more. This. Yes. <laughs> Very safe indeed. Um... <laughs> okay, okay, now I have to see. A plus two for a crowbar if we use it. And... Oh. Wait. I'm assuming that you do, but uh, and that a doesn't even matter. from me helping. Okay, I just wanted to see my, my, my check. <laughs> okay. Vic is an Elas. It's when you just always roll a 19. <laughs> Vic is an Elas. As soon as you step off, you notice that uh, that the the pressure plate goes back up. I'm just gonna oh. carefully point that out to everybody behind me. How good are you two at jumping? Even better, I'm gonna. Wait, where is the pressure plate here? Uh, both sides, uh, Vic and Elas. You point it out. I hope you actually. Make sure that I'm watching you when you say it. I'm gonna do one better. I'm gonna lean down, I'm gonna take my chalk, and I'm gonna draw a giant X over it. Blake! <laughs> <Okay. Like. laughs> <laughs> Don't draw too hard. <laughs> On the bright side, the door is open now. So. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have to follow all of you guys, but, uh. I'm gonna study this a bit more later. I guess I'll jump, try to jump. You're gonna step on it? I thought the pressure pad was here. 
Oh, oh no, this? that was Ivan. Those two. Yeah, the two squares where Vickers and Illas were. No. It's one in Both the of them? Or... So I have to jump? Basically, yeah. this is the exit that Illas were. Alright, just uh, carry uh, me then, through. guys. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell the light to duck, and then I'll just yeah. crawl over it. That would work as well. Well, as long as you're yeah. prone. Oh. I'll, I'll oh, tell right. you that, and I assume you'll do the same, or I guess you'll do your jumping. But I actually just realized it. that they make the, it the, across. Uh, actually, the 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 yeah, they the, would miss me because I'm too short. Yeah, the dart slits are at shoulder height. Yeah, they should miss me, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be, be pedantic or whatever. <laughs> but that's fine. I wonder how many traps you would avoid in the average dungeon by just crawling everywhere. Hey, I'm so gonna crawl in there. Like, I'll let you know the But you haven't put any weight on it. You can so duck, uh, it, you can crawl you over it, it. Because if you run yeah, over okay. it, it's going to trigger again. Because as soon as a yeah. camel uh, crawled o well, walked over it, really, uh, it triggered. <laughs> but he called oh, out fuck. to you. He, uh, he called out to you to lie on the ground. Okay, I'll do it that and just... crawl as well. Just while well, just you several times, so I assume you listen. Yeah, yeah. W while you crawl, just tri uh, trigger it like ten times until the arrows are depleted. And then we can pick <laughs> them up and sell them. Excellent. Mm. No, they are the uh, they are shot is. with such force that they shatter against the opposite wall. Okay, but we still oh. deplete them. <laughs> yes, there were exactly okay. done ten uh, volleys worth of arrows in there, and now mm -hmm. it just goes click, click. Click, click, click. <laughs> we should should fill them up with ice uh, cubes. That'd be amazing. We just overcame like ten different trap encounters. Think about all that. Three <laughs> 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 level. A faded tapestry hangs on a wooden frame on the western wall of this chamber. Faded and delicate, the tapestry depicts a middle-aged man accompanied by a woman and two sh children. With a, with a small estate in the background. To either side of the tapestry are two small pedestals, upon which sit two dead and preserved animals. Stone double doors exit the same chamber to the north, south and east. Same go as before? Hmm? Uh, this, this is... The murals depict his life, basically. Yep. This is why I'm asking if it's the same go as before. So... The either side of the tapestry are two small pedestals, so there are four pedestals? What? Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not how This is to either side it... of the tapestry. There are two pedestals in total, to either side of the... Yeah, yeah that's, it can be read in two different ways. Which animals? Ah, yes. There are mummified cats. Well, I'm gonna attempt the same thing I attempted earlier on. And that was? Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> A lot of giggling, I guess. But did I spend it? What? Did I spend the spell when I tried to do that? Isn't it a cantrip? No, it's not a cantrip, it's a uh, one per day. You did not spend it because you were giggling too much to actually uh, bring right. your planet to I'm motion. Doing it now. <laughs> gnomes. Fucking <laughs> gnomes. I'm standing right next to him. Shouldn't I notice it? Turn around with my back towards you. There's no way you can see it. Yes. As he is I'm turned around, he giggles uncontrollably again. He's really <laughs> bad at this pranking thing. I don't think Will saves you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, can anyone detect magic here? Yeah, I'll do a detect magic around the room. This is your job. I didn't take it because I'm a sword Sorry, guy. I keep forgetting it's <laughs> my job now. <laughs> yeah, the statue uh... that you walk towards meowing. Ah! Oh. And then you hear me giggling extremely loud in the back. 
Do we get a, do we get a plus because he's giggling like mad? I say might, this cat is I might haunted. start rolling on the ground as well. <laughs> yes, you get it. a you get a plus two for you get a plus two versus giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Still not enough. <laughs> okay, this feline is foul. Let's see what say. Nope, I see. I hear it as well. <laughs> Holy shit, you're all failing it. Wow. Yeah. It's DZ fourteen. So. Mm. Isn't it a ghost sound? Yeah. Yeah, it's ghost sound. Fucking save. Oh, that's not a can't. Wow. Oh, it's a spell-like ability that gnomes get. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. It's spell-like. Well, of course you don't have that. Something strange about that cat. It's meowing. I'll say. Well, it oh. meowed <laughs> once. Yeah, let's wait. Wait, but time I'm detecting this. magic. Don't I detect that magic or something? Uh, well. I don't know, just asking. The the meowing is gone now, after one meow. <laughs> yeah, but I was detecting magic while he was doing the spell. Hmm. If it yeah. was only doing it for one round, then you wouldn't have time to focus on it anyways. That's yeah. true, true. But I would detect some magic from But you cat. detect no magic. Yeah. No, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, let's just keep going. Did you check and, the traps? Um, Illos. I need to oh, check for traps. Stand back. There are no traps here. Every time you say that, I feel the urge to double check. I, I didn't even I have the urge to triple check. <laughs> uh, Vickis, you also notice some uh, hieroglyphs on the uh, on the tapestry, but the the. They're even... They're kind of on the difficult side, even for you. Do you happen to have linguistics? No, I don't. You don't? I do, but I guess I can't use it. Well, not really. <laughs> okay, which way do you go? I'll this way. Thing. Uh, the, are these doors also chiseled or engraved? Ah, oh, these ones open easily. It's just the first few I have a, sets. I have a closer look at this. It's a mummified cat. All better stuff. I think it's magical. Try to lift it up. It is a mummified cat. You can cat. replace it with a bag of dirt of approximately same weight. <laughs> Why are you picking up a mummified cat? Really? Oh, but I might put it in my backpack. I haven't decided yet. You want, color you want colors in your face? <laughs> what did they say about desecrating the tombs again? What, did you forget that you have a party member that again. worships the god, the goddess, the deity that forbids that? Forbids picking up mummified cats? Desecrating the dead, even if it's an animal. I'm pretty sure it. it's still desecrating it. It's not really desecrated, it's more like looking at... I mean, I don't yeah, know well, what it's it... going to follow, so it might become desecrating. I'm gonna desecrate yeah. you with my evil stare, you bastard. <laughs> I'm telling you, anything that seems like bad is gonna get... Uh, anyway... It's gonna I'll get put punished. it down again, that's fine. Let's keep on. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you, you find a, a, a sit down or up stairways that descend to additional sets of doors. What? Oh, yeah. Crabs. Don't okay. check the other door before we head downstairs. Good. Nah, let's just keep going here. It's the same as opening one door, really. It's double door. You're not gonna Amazing. check for traps. I thought we were, but apparently that door opened really fast. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> A massive mirror stretches across the southern wall of this chamber, flanked by two, two statues. The statue to the east depicts a tall, gaunt woman in a, fl a flowing hooded gown holding an hourglass. The figure to the west is that of a jackal-headed man carrying a scepter or staff in his hand. Stone double doors standing slightly ajar lead to the east and west. 
A third set of double doors exit the room, the room to the north. Torch holders sculpted in the shape of bird skulls are built in each corner and a thin layer of dust covers every surface. Detect magic. Okay. Yeah, detect magic. <clears throat> the mirror uh, spellcraft. You detect some magic from the mirror. Is 21 enough? <laughs> Uh, spellcraft. 21 spellcraft. Yeah, I have 11 in spellcraft. Okay. Um, a faint illusion and transmutation aura. I know to fight the others about it. That mirror is mm. the text. <sighs> do you know what it does? I do not. I only sense its transmutation. Oh, that, that's helpful. Well, now, I'm only guessing, but it, I assume the, the Frosma Priest might have an issue with us breaking the mirror. Yeah. By throwing things at it, like a gnome. It, it, well, <laughs> I would know that actually if it does. I do not think that would be well, it might Respectful to the tomb. Alright, nice. Can we cover it by something you have in your backpack? Uh, maybe. I'll take a look. Can I try to figure out the value of the mirror? Uh. Well. It's kind of, you know. Built into the wall. Okay, okay. Mm. It's not loot, guys. <laughs> well, biggest thing also, I'm carrying you, is you, a parasol. Uh, you can also um, gonna... uh, attempt. Uh, of course, one of the the statues, this one, is again for Asma. But you can attempt another religion sh religion check for the other one. Definitely. Sure. It's Anubis. This. The other god like of my death. fellow adventurers. As we all know, death is a multi franchise. Yes. Yeah, but what are we gonna do about the mirror? Well, I'll have a look at it and see. Maybe you should not look at it? If there's anything wrong with it. Perfectly fine. Yeah, as you look at it, you see yourself, and it's, it's perfectly fine. Until you get to make <laughs> a fourth save. <laughs> I, you should look at your uh, tattoos. I was, I was planning to say before you said until, I was planning to say, okay, I turn around. <laughs> okay, fourth save coming up. Oof. There. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, not scamp it's, on the it's saves. completely <laughs> fail. It's completely fine. He turns around and see, it's completely fine. Did anyone notice any magical effects while that was going on? Including it's still the same. It's still the same aura. Oh yeah, can I make a spellcraft? Do you detect the same thing? It's uh. a illusion and transmutation aura. I don't even have to take magic on me, so... Well, I'm just gonna go in there and not look at it. That's good. Ace looking to the floor, maybe? Oh, uh, looking to the floor then? I don't yeah, even I feel anything elsewhere. funny, since I just made a fortitude save. No, you don't. Okay. This is a yeah. nice mirror, guys. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just a mirror. I think I'm gonna Boy, follow that's good Zach's busy. advice, though. Looking at the floor, not looking at the mirror. <laughs> Why are you acting so, like such such babies? I don't trust you. Nothing aura. wrong here. I'll take I'll take a look at it. <laughs> you get you concur with Vickers that it is indeed a completely fine mirror. Make a force to save. Ah. Uh, 
You feel a stinging sensation on your forehead as you take one damage. Okay. Literally just killed yourself. <laughs> Why? And uh, you, you turn around to to, sh to show them that it's kind of that it uh, that it just stings a bit. Uh, Vickers. Well, you all see hieroglyphs burned into his forehead. Vickers, it says thief. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's convenient. Okay, as soon as I feel the burning sensation, I'm gonna f uh, reach into my bag and throw my range weapon at it. I wanna break the mirror. <laughs> oh god. Well, the mirror did attack him first, so... <laughs> There's one difference, how can that make a failure safe? Apparently DC because 17 does work. <laughs> ah, DC 17 of course. Ah, oh, stupid me. Uh, Should I make an attack? No. <laughs> It's a mirror. Mirrors are fragile. Okay, I'm gonna throw my wallflower at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that awesome. was already broken when we got here. Hey, Sorry the mirror attacked me first. It was self-defense. Is there anything behind it? Uh, a wall. Besides, oh. I dislike being slandered. <laughs> Well, at least now you have a reason to get a tattoo from Vegas. <laughs> I can turn that into a wonderful dolphin for you. Tell that waffle iron as well. Uh, Alai! You call me Aquaman. <laughs> yes. Um, you're no, are sure. you still detecting magic? Yes. Okay, you did... Uh, make another spellcraft check. This time on Elas, <laughs> where magic is coming from. Uh, is it 21 enough? If not, I'll roll. Uh, yeah, it's enough. Uh, it's the spell Brand. Well, you feel oh. branded. Good news is it's not permanent. I will, uh, I will hook you up with uh, a, a nice cover-up tattoo for that. <laughs> right in the middle of the face. No, people come to me for Which that all the time. Permanent. See, they, they often regret their tattoos pretty pretty soon, and then I can, you know, get a nice cover-up for them. Which they then regret even more so later. Yes. It's, it's a nice ancient, business. It's an ancient Azerian anyway, right? So no one's gonna understand it. I'll just well, make a headscarf. Except for... for the, the, the problem is that uh, it's, uh, it is indeed an ancient Assyrian, so it won't be understood by most people. With one important exception, the Farazman priests. You mean the people who actually authorized me to explore this tomb? <laughs> yes, not steal from it. And the tomb just called you a thief. Mistakenly, I have yet to take anything. <laughs> well, the tomb doesn't know that. This is a very uninformed it, tomb. Yes, it is. But God, imagine walking through here as a caretaker, and you're just like, ah, oh, you steal things. <laughs> I was just well, yeah, really the, tiny. Well, the El mm. Elas, you have two choices. You can either scrape it away or cover it. There's no scraping oh, it away. It's literally gone. branded into his skin. It's uh, well, it he could sc scrape away his skin. <laughs> yeah, it says in, it says in the spell it can be scraped away, dealing one d six points of damage. But if oh, the see? damage is healed, then it comes back. So yes. I'm just gonna cover it up. Let's keep moving, guys. Okay, I'll get out my really tattooing gear. <laughs> Stop it! Get away from me! <laughs> hold still! Because, because It'll be so much worse when you don't hold still. <laughs> now is not the time because we have a tomb to explore. <laughs> <laughs> Which door do you do you go to? Check for traps. I'll check. Yes, three times. Left door. Okay. By the way, did I get a perception check against the uh, mirror? It's not a trap. How is that not a trap? It does not have a trap stat, stat block. Hence, it is not a trap. Wow. Okay. So just looking at it gives you the brand, okay? <laughs> it's also, an it's, inanimate it's... object that targets you with a hostile spell when you approach it. 
Well, it's more like <laughs> one damage and uh, and uh, and some RP opportunity, so it's not a trap. <clears throat> what are the RP opportunities we have? RP opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> See? Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. A flight of steps gradually descends to the west down this passage. Halfway down the stairs, small holes and burrow tunnels riddle what remains of the passage's southern wall. Earth and sand have spilled over the collapsed masonry, covering the stairs with dirt and rubble. Stone doors engraved with a golden scarab. Its wings open beneath the golden sun stand at either end of the stairs. One of the eastern doors is slightly ajar, the one you came from. I, I don't know, by the way, why they're describing the door you came from as being slightly ajar, because there's literally no other way to enter this room. Uh, yeah, knowledge, religion, it might have been slightly up. ajar when we entered the other room. That's the only thing I can think of. Take a knowledge, religion on the scarab. Give me a second. With the scarab. Ah, oh, yes, uh... <laughs> it's a scarab. <laughs> okay, so it's not a religious. <laughs> it's just a scarab. <laughs> okay. Uh, I tell the rest of the group it's just a scarab, guys. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's go. I'm waiting for yeah. you to move. I'm waiting for Vickers and Ellis to move. I'm waiting for the traps to stop hitting me. Oh, you let's, wanna be uh, by the traps, admit it. Let's spread out a bit, maybe. Good idea. What's happening in these tunnels? Uh, there seem to be tunnels dug by some kind of, uh... Insect vermin. Oh no, you don't. Any way to see what vermin can? Um, A lot of vermin could do that. I Take ready myself for any threat that might pass through these yeah. tunnels. I ready my I'm, weapon and shield. I'm gonna take a survival check to see if I can guess what kind of creature would make such tracks. A lie? Could you make yeah. like one square of movement? <laughs> Why? Step away from the. Tunnel. Why would I move? Because you're blocking into... something. Oh. What? Just say that. Why? That's a shame. <laughs> okay, so I'm you have moving. to stay there for the rest of the dungeon right now. <laughs> no, let's just do it. Well, you can stand there, but then you're just going to get pushed out into another square. Because, as you stand there... Uh, oh yeah, uh, Elas, it might have been beetles. Oh, oh yeah, good. took a good spot to stop. Because as you stand there, uh, 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 being focused on the tunnel, it, it appears then the, that the pile of sand and dirt was more than sand and dirt. It was, in fact, animate sand. Yes. Oh, goody. I'm going to swim in it. Stand the fuck back. Uh... But the surprise rounds are getting really cheesy. <laughs> yeah. How did that surprise us? It, because it was lying in, in, in dirt. It has, uh, it had plus seven stealth in earth or sand. Didn't do any detect magic anyway. Well, it's not. We just my... walked across it without noticing that the ground was kind of crunchy. Just sand. That's like a. So it's it like pearls. four square, uh, four cubic meters of sand. <laughs> Look, the it's this is how it works. Look, I could shut. Okay, I'll. If this makes more sense, I'll put it at this side. Okay. Oh, 
Sweet. <laughs> okay, Ellos. A lot more sense. Uh, I, I don't know how this is supposed to work, but it bites you. Yes. It is very well, sharp, Sand. Okay. What? Well <laughs> okay. One more. Exactly. What is attacking me? Uh, it's like a a a swirly sand. I don't know. <laughs> it's not actually described all that well. The monster. It's basically a a. Okay. It's and an elemental sand? creature of loose earth and sand. It's a... It resembles okay, so a pile of sand, sand elemental. but it coalesces into a, f a serpentine form made of sand. Okay, sand elemental. Okay, I, I, I'm with Five you damage. on sand elemental. <laughs> Great. Alai. Let's do a knowledge check to see what it is. Outside Maybe you can turn it into a glass elemental. What's, what world is it? Uh, planes. Oh. You are very good at your knowledge checks. It is a sandling. <laughs> What's important is it has a, uh, it has a burrow speed. It has elemental traits for immunity. It has DR5 against bludgeoning. It is vulnerable not to fire, but water. In fact, you realize that uh, that for every few gallons of water that hit it, it will become slowed because it turns into mud. <sighs> yes, Price. this is the one time that a that a cantrip will have com combat. Uh, no, sorry, an yeah, excellent. Well, does it have iterative attacks? No. Well, it doesn't really do that much. <laughs> then slowing it doesn't actually do anything. Well, you can take distance and force. Well, it's uh, staggered actually... though, so either a move or a standard. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Ally, you know uh... this. Do you yeah. share the information? I'm assuming yes, so. Yes, I'll, I'll shout to Zack. Hey, use water! As you especially said to Zack, I assume you turn around and say it. Oh, I can shout it while looking at the thing. I'm not that stupid to turn my back to an enemy, idiot. He's Interesting, deaf. okay. Alright, <laughs> he's <laughs> deaf! <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, so... I'm not that stupid, you know. No, but I don't know that! Are you it an intelligence-based oh, caster or a wisdom-based caster? You have been told that. Me that? Uh, so, uh, you, oh, okay. uh, I forgot. Uh, you also know that it only has 5 foot reach, so it's safe to turn around and say it to him. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Damn, I forgot he's deaf. <laughs> if it has 5 foot reach, <laughs> Elas can with use a withdraw action or yes. just... Yeah, we can all use a withdraw if someone slows it and then we can... Uh, kill it at reach. Uh, yeah, I'll just start moving back then. Okay, Elas. <clears throat> so many options. Uh, I'm gonna use a swift action to activate the encouraging war. How encouraging? And then, as a standard action. And as a standard action, I am going to. Attack it. Okay. You hit. Oh, with the spear, I'm gonna have to take a five foot step back first. So, 16 to hit and 9 damage. I uh, know you did encouraging roar. So, more yeah, than that was that. my swift action. Swift. Nope, yeah, so the bonuses have... are included. Ah, okay. Uh. Seems less effective. It's piercing. Yes. Which is you why said it's uh, DR5 to bludgeoning. Undone with bludgeoning. 
you know? Yeah, you said the blessing. opposite of that. Yeah, you said the other thing around. Yeah. I In that case, the I'm just gonna use the same stats, but punch it with my Cestus instead. So it's gonna be... Four. Ah, oh, for... How did that even happen? Okay, so it's gonna be the exact same damage. <laughs> yes! And then I take a 5-foot step back. But then, now it's bludgeoning. Yeah, but also, you're still... Okay, Vegas. Well, since I'm encouraged, I'm just going for the damage approach, since that's what we're doing here. I'll take a step forward and um, smash it with my Claymore. Uh, so I get a well, two-handed attack in with another plus two from Encouraging Roar, and I do not enhance it. So, 14. 14. Yeah, that hits. A damage uh, 15 flashing. Seems less effective though. Uh, yeah. As it tries to bludgeon your face. No, it tries, it tries to bite your face. But it seems weakened. Don't forget we're playing with those. Yes. Also, uh, your hit only yeah. was 14, Elas, because you're weakened. He's not weakened. Oh, I am. Yes, that's true. But so I deflect the a blow of sand with the sword which I'm holding, you know, stretched out before me. It's that a Camille... blocking I, position. I soak it with my mighty create water spell. <laughs> it's like a squirt of water. And I, I laugh. Ask. How, really? how did you get a minus four to initiative checks? Oh, you see, it's a good story. Um, okay, let's see that that? after the fight. <laughs> Just making sure that's not a lie. Uh, oh, I want to freeze it after you wet it. Remember, it's soaked now, though. I want to use a uh, spell combat and then slash it and then do ray of ray of frost at it. Guess I'll move to here and no wait, yeah. I'll move to wait, I'm standing here. I'll move to There actually a freeze rule. No. Not that I know. It is. It's called the rule of cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome! <laughs> yes. Oh, that's that's hands, that's, that's puntacular. Ah uh, damn it, I didn't even know that I I made that pun unwillingly. Damn it. Yeah, not bloody likely. <laughs> what are you doing, you Ally? Well. You moved there? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I moved there and I'm going to use uh, Burning Hands. And as a free action, I'll use one of my arcane points to increase the caster level. Okay. What do I, I do? I think we had this, though. Might be a waste of a spell. Ooh. What save? Uh, reflex. reflex. Flat, 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 flat. I'm assuming that that makes it. No. Sixteen is the DC. That makes it. Oh really? Oh, oh three no, damage. because fifteen. Fifteen. Bunch of damage. Oh yeah, because he's bloody. See, it yeah. works on both sides. Yeah. And uh, it returns to an inert pile of sand. I can't help but feel that this place is trying to kill us. Yes. <laughs> In really, like, slow and inconvenient ways. Well, the, the <laughs> thing is... <laughs> to I'm gonna go use secure light on you. Actually, only be uh, there's only been one thing that's actively tried to kill you that was intended to be there to kill you. <clears throat> that was just a, a, a hey, sand um... elemental that happened to be here. Perfect. Like, that puts we... me back about full health. Good roll. Feel like, can we take like a five minute break? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Also, turn uh, off your mic. <laughs> oh. Hell, I'm at the bathroom right now. 
We'll be right back. Okay, uh, let's continue in five minutes. Yeah, I'll go get a cup of tea. We're back. Intermission. Cool. Okay, we're back. So, after that harrowing encounter with the Pearl of Sand, you find yourself in a, in a, in a yet again peaceful room, hallway, place, thing. What do? Okay, I take a perception check on the room, place, hallway thing. Take magic. If... Yes. What hidden information is here? Ah, uh, you took it too hard, a bit too literally, but okay. Uh, man, my book is falling apart. My roll, my magnificent perception check. It's a room. <laughs> yes. No, it's so I go for the door. As it <laughs> as it been established <laughs> before, the the the. The the holes in the wall were probably caused by vermin crawling in. And burrowing through. You do not see anything in the distance. They are actually like, uh, 
they're, they're pinky sized holes. They're just um, um, exaggerated on the map. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and closely into one of them. You still cannot fit. <laughs> <laughs> do you look, do you peek with your eye like into it? Yeah. Right, so <laughs> I poke my finger in it first to make sure there's nothing in there. That's a good rule of thumb. A man's got to take care of himself, you know. <laughs> there is nothing in care. there. You okay, see darkness. Clear, guys. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Look at this room with the fancy lighting effects. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a mirror? Because <laughs> if it is, I have a waffle iron I want to introduce to it. A tapestry <laughs> hangs from a frame against the south wall of this large chamber. It depicts an otherworldly vista where the souls of the dead Shepherded by strange beings, enter an ethereal river, ambling through space towards a landscape dominated by an impossibly tall spire. Columns sculpted in the shape of Assyrian warriors wielding kopeshes stand in all four corners of the room. The room is styled in a wide spiral pattern on a black background, and this spiral pattern is re re repeated on the stone double doors to the north, east, and west. Like magic, that's just especially. What? Detect magic. That's and then, just especially. You do not detect magic. Okay. Hey, I investigate the mural with a perception check. <laughs> Behold, it is a mural. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what is depicted here? is uh, the boneyard where Farazma sits to judge all those to be judged. It uh, okay. apparently uh, depicts... It, it seems that this room is like... In the, in, the, in the first room you saw him young, then you saw him older, then you saw a mirror that turned you into a thief, and now you see him dead. I do not see a connection between those last two, but there so you go. We, so we should be getting closer to the tomb area, probably. Yes. Well, let's open a door, shall we? Unless there's anything other that piques our interests in this room. I'm gonna go study this. Dude, you, uh, yeah, your study reveals the same. Vickers. The door does not open. Is it locked or is it just jammed or rusted? Or? Uh, with these kinds of doors, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, let's try the other door first, see if it's open, and if not, we'll... Yeah. It also it open. doesn't open. <laughs> well, time to introduce it to Mr. Crowbar. <laughs> Okay, strength check. I don't know if we should break open all the doors here like that. Considering what they told us about the grave robbing. Uh, we're, I mean, we're not you, actually you, grave robbing. Our job you is are to allowed, too. You are allowed to take treasure, of course. And you are allowed to uh, open doors that need to be opened. And things that are falling apart, they won't punish you for those if they break. So like, I, just don't willfully and for no reason start wrecking shit. Uh, it, it's a bit like being in a fishing competition. You are allowed to fish, you're not allowed to use dynamite to fish. <laughs> so, okay. as long as we don't actually blow any doors open, I feel like we're in the clear. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> we'll save the gunpowder for later. A <laughs> <laughs> uh... bag of tricks is gonna be... ...in the ass. <laughs> I take 10 to help Vickis, and I hand him the crowbar. Mighty shoulder with crowbar. Wait. You should just work attach your crowbar to your shoulder. Yes. No, I, I stick the crowbar in, in the in the slit, and then I, I shoulder the crowbar. Yes. Alas. Immediately natural one. 
<laughs> you think that it might be locked after all because that should have opened it if it was not locked. Yet it was. Well, let's take a look at the other areas. We skipped right. some doors on the way, way here. Yeah. True. You want to go north or south? There's actually uh, a door. Maybe east? There's a door here as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Wow. I am not much help on this one. Oh, that one just. What do you eat, my friend? <laughs> you 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 strength uh, you you push a a crowbar into it with all your strength, but it just opened like without effort. Oh well. If I were a mean GM, it would have smashed into uh, into Elos's face as it slams open. But I'm not a mean GM. Well, not that mean. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Can we get a description of this room? Yes, you can, once I copy paste Thank it. Thank you. But I won't press enter until I start reading myself. <clears throat> Pillars line the walls of this rectangular chamber, interspersed with stone jackal heads extending from the walls. A stone altar, covered in a layer of dust, sits at the eastern end of the room. To the west, a set of stone double doors stands slightly ajar. Well, not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Like how it was slightly open and you just <laughs> mashed in. Oh, it's that much more open. Can I have a detect magic here, friends? Yep. Have two, maybe. You have to. Shit, I'm gonna I very forgot something. Uh, in the room yeah. where you're in now, can you give me a, a survival check? That's Coming actually right the one up. I rolled a... Uh, 22 in earlier, wasn't it? You did? Okay, well, I know uh, I rolled in, that ca in that case I will tell you that um, in the middle room where you are standing right now uh, you see tracks in the dust between the east and west doors. It's interesting. tracks left by s Vermin. And Which you detect direction? Well, that's not really clear. But you do know that okay. the tracks continue into this door, uh, this room as well. Mm. Oh, good. And they go to behind the altar. I'm just gonna pull out a flask of alchemist fire for absolutely no reason. I'll shoot a ray of frost uh, at any slits or niches I see around the altar. Where if, it's, if it's vermin, be... it'll, uh, you, you realize that if it's vermin, it's probably behind. The altar. I cast uh, create water here. <laughs> Whatever is behind it would now be uh, be. Uh, so, uh, Ilas, you said something about aqueous fire, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna take one out because my spear isn't much good against swarms. Yeah, and I'm gonna soak whoever's there if there's anything there. I'm holding yeah, an alchemist fire uh, in one hand. Yeah, Ilas, you, you, uh, you, you create water there, and you hear splash, and then... I instantly don't hear anything, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna close that door now. Please stand clear. Are you not... going to close it? You are all Empty. aware of combat. <laughs> Maybe we can How let do... Vermin try to open it, and then we can smash it as it has trouble pushing it open. <laughs> Um, let me get my BCA for a second. Yeah, let's, let's, let's let do. them come to us. I'm gonna Nature? Be... Yeah, let's ready. Let's just ready actions. Then we will, you know, yeah. get them for sure. I'll do a knowledge check. See what they are. It's yeah. nature, I guess. Yep. Yeah, probably. Unless they're undead. Not sure if they look skeletal or they're just. Bail. I like how I like how they have one shoe each icon. <laughs> We're going. Thank you for the new shoes. <laughs> it's a tan-colored creature. It looks like a tan-legged spider. 
Its oversized jaws grind together slowly beneath beady eyes. Alai, you realize that this is a giant solar fidget. All right. What do you want to know? That's not okay. enough to know everything. You get two questions. I'll give you the most important thing for free. Uh, it's immune to mind affecting. Yeah, we know that. That's that's a vermin thing. It's not really. You don't know that. Specific. Okay. She you knows know that, but your character doesn't know that. Um. Special attacks. Uh, none. Well, actually, yes. We can rent. Do you know how rent works? Don't let him take full attacks. If it hits with both attacks, it does an additional amount of damage. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say... Any... We can save. Will. Okay. Which is dumb because Will is mind affecting most of the time. Yeah. It's sometimes it works. What about damage? Okay, Ally, your turn still, though. Yeah, I'm gonna delay after Elos. Clackety, 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 clack. Is what the solo fidget says. As it tries to bite you with its gigantic. Is no, I'm flat footed. Yeah, he's flat footed. Yeah, right. Ugly pincers. Om nom 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 nom. Just misses. With a two. Vickers. No, with a one. Yeah, the confirmation roll. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I just saw it. That was almost a fumble. Not quite. Right, I'm going to use spell combat here. Well, one what hand you... my okay. claymore. I'll strike first. Yeah. That hits. Uh, it does six damage. That's about right. Oh, what's the spell? Five. Right. You should delete for a round. Yeah. Oh. But um. Spell, I'm, I'm just going to cast it defensively. So, uh, concentration. So, how does it work again? Oh shit, I, I don't have my card here. Concentration <laughs> should be in, uh, in the. Modify the stat block. Roll, right? It should be in the stat block view in Hero Lab, the concentration. Oh, yeah, plus four. Only plus four? It's only intelligence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the and the castle, yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, that's make it. What was no, it? Like? Fifteen plus spell level, so it's a cantrip. No, it's double spell level. It's a cantrip. Oh, then yeah. That it, then you make it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you uh, said one handed spell. One. And I shoot a um, ray of frost at the one in front of me. Which I will need to five foot step for because it's a range attack. Yeah, just about the same. I was actually hoping on the first one. Wait, is that I... possible to do spell attack and then five foot step and then do the actual spell? Mm hmm. Yeah. Because you can five foot step between attacks. It okay, doesn't but actually now it does need get... to get the concentration check. You hit. Uh, mm, three. Cold damage. Two cold damage. God, you're a monster. Yes. <laughs> optimized beast of damage. Elos. Yeah, swift action, I'm gonna activate Encouraging War, and then I'm gonna take a standard action to ready a Skyving Strike in case the other one approaches. The other one approaches. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna first take an attack of opportunity. You forgot my yeah. turn. Oh, that is true. A lie delayed till after my turn. You could probably just move her down to initiative 13. Easier not to miss her that way. A lie, your turn. Okay, um. 
I'll take a five foot step here and. Still hiding behind me. <laughs> yeah. You have more AC than me. Does yeah that's does he actually provide cover? I mean he's small. Yes. Uh, the rules don't differentiate, so yeah. <laughs> that's slightly silly, but okay. I lie. With that said, you could say that he provides partial cover. No, soft cover. Well, yeah, but partial soft cover. It's no such uh, thing. I'm going to uh. The sure plus two. There's cover mm. and then there's partial cover, which is kind of like cover, but not as good. It only gives a plus yeah, but there's no such thing as partial soft cover. Anyway, Ali, your turn. Yeah. Yes, I was trying to say that. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I just blast this one. Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. So I'll need to do a touch attack. Range touch, I hope. Yes, 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 range touch. Ooh! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's four for shooting into melee. True. And a cover penalty, so I'm pretty sure that one misses. Uh, It hits, not a crit, though. Yep. Yeah. Dude, acid damage. His. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. First, I'm gonna take my attack of opportunity. Yeah. Which is gonna hit it for. Uh, wow. Not. That was a spectacularly bad roll. And then I'm gonna use skyping strike, so I use the same attack against both of them. Okay. So uh, the 16 hit. Yes. I don't need to roll yeah. separate Can damage. you use Siding Strike if you don't have reach? Uh, if you well, have... I, I readied the action to act when he was... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, but you can't hit that guy. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I prob I can't actually hit the other one because he's too close to attack with my reach roll. Well, if you 5 foot step backwards, you could have, but... Yeah, but it were... wasn't part of my readied action. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll just ready to make a normal attack then. So I only hit the one for 12 damage. Okay. His. Okay. Well, at least they're weakened, so. Oh, it's time now? to bring on. It's time to bring on the pain, guys. And uh, whip that guy. <laughs> yes. It's gonna be minus two because I'm weakened. <laughs> right. So seventeen and one damage. Three damage. Encouraging more. Well, I have minus two because I'm I'm weakened because the poison. Oh. Yes. Wait, wasn't that only a melee attacks? That's strength checks. And oh, whip rolls. Is... Whips are still uh, melee attacks. Strength based damage roll. Attack rolls damage. Yeah. Okay. Still yeah. one damage, and then I'm gonna yes. five foot. Uh, Elos, it is very upset at you, and it does not appreciate okay. the things you did, and it will tell you in, in, in very harsh words that it did not like that. That's one harsh <laughs> I can word. Tell. A lot of oh attacks dear. for uh, oh holy sh. <laughs> For his low level monsters. Oh, With only one of the. Uh, doesn't occur. Uh, only one of the. He gets a claws. minus two penalty on the damage as well. So yes. they have claws and a stinger or a bite? Bite. Two okay. claws and a bite. So uh, I looked up, by the way, how you. But because now it's 1d3 minus 1. So how you calculate this? 1d3 minus 1 plus 1d3 minus 1. Because that's not the same yeah. as 2d3 minus 2. So you yeah. take two lethal 
damage and one non-lethal damage. Damn, these things are lethal. Partially. What a hit. Hiss. Ficus. Um, I'm going to... Wait, this one has gotten whipped, right? It's whipped as fuck. So, I'm going to use spell combat and uh, shoot that guy first. Yes. Uh, do I get the encouraging roar on range attacks? Yeah. Okay, I'll put that in there. Touch. Yep. Two cold damage. His. And a five foot step. And I. One hand claim or him. Oh, uh, it's already dead? Yeah. Get the other one. Okay, I'll hit the other one with a 19. That? Yes. Okay. His. Uh, uh, 19 basically. to hit. And damage 8. Okay. Oh, man. <clears throat> The d immense danger of this room has been cleared by our valiant heroes yet again. Hmm. As the partially lethal damage of this encounter almost made, uh, made El Alice uh, faint of the thought of it. <clears throat> yes, Zack, <Zach>, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, stone jackal heads extending from the walls, stone altar covered in a layer of dust. Hmm, no magic. No. So, do I see anything about the altar? Or the... The, the... Start... Well... <laughs> The, the altar seems to have been used for embalming purposes. And uh, the jackal heads on the wall seem si similar to the, the jackal that you saw outside, so presumably Anubis as well. And they seem to be made as well for holding torches. Hmm. Do, can, can we spot a mechanism in these torch holding... I don't know. Let's see if you can. Uh, I'll take 10 for 16. You cannot. There does not seem to be anything special about... Well, <laughs> Zach, you see no, no, that... No, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the, the thing I'm on. The embalming table. I told you, it's it's been used for embalming. It's, it's slightly yeah. sticky. Yeah, I'm just staring uh, at the details on it. That's what I'm looking at with the perception check, not the actual mechanisms. Okay, well, there is no mechanism. That's the, that's the thing. <laughs> the only thing that you notice is that they seem to also be made to be torch holders. I, I don't see a need to share that information. No, not you. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the that's what the rest sees. What you see is that the okay. table you're on was used as an embalming table, and there's, it's even a bit sticky of embalming fluid. That that stuff doesn't uh, really uh, evaporate. Anything behind the altar? Um, <coughs> you step into um, a cobwebs of where the mm -hmm. solovage, solovage, solov those things used to nest. Okay, let's lower the rest. This all isn't poisoned. Mm -hmm. they, they actually don't have poison. They're like uh, tiny land lobsters. <laughs> I roll oh. down delicately from the table. Floof. How many more channels do I you have, well. my friend? Uh, two. I also okay. have two more spells. Okay. Oh, Late. For a while, yeah. You see another stairway descending and another door behind it. Mm, well, seems pretty uh, symmetrical. 
Let's also give have a magic push. weapon and bless if we need it. Let me give you Pick my ride. Really dramatic music. Yeah. Yeah, it's A brightly painted chariot sits in the center of this chamber. Beyond the chariot, a large canvas stretches between two stone columns. The skins of several animals, antelopes, great cats, and crocodiles, now faded and deteriorated with age, are tacked to this canvas. A wooden chest, lacquered white and trimmed with gold inlay, sits in the southeast corner. In each corner of the room, a small stone shield is molded into the masonry at shoulder height. An open hallway leads to the east, and a set of double doors leads south. Wait a second. Shoulder height. <clears throat> can, I, some... can I spot a mechanism in one of these? Uh, That's the code word for traps. <laughs> shield. Sure feels like it. Things. But surely it's the chest that trapped, not the shields. Any magic? Oh, nailed it. Uh, there is n what's the range of the tech magic? Isn't it 60 feet? 60 Basically, feet tone. anything you can see in here is within the detection range. Uh, is it a, it's a cone, so it's blocked with, by line of effect, right? Yeah, like I said, anything he can see. Um, no, nothing. Do I spot no mechanisms with the shields? No, nothing on the shields. They oh, you think this might be his chariot? I want to take the tech like... magic on the chest. The uh, detect magic is not on something; it detects everything, and nothing was detected. The, cha no, the chariot I'll do... does look. The chariot does look like a swaggy ride. <laughs> it's also been deteriorated by age. To quote the book, time has still taken a toll on the chariot, such that using it as a vehicle would be dubious at best. Yes. I'm all in for dubious, let's go guys. <laughs> okay, since I can see the new room, can I do another detect magic? Yeah. Also, I will... There's another mural here, so maybe we can... Give Let's study it for uh, uh, all I'll, our I'll do this. I'll yes. finish this room off first. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is indeed a light mm -hmm. chariot, and um, it looks like an amazingly beautiful chariot, but kind of, you know, big. <clears throat> it's not actually a mural. It's a canvas with skins of several animals stacked onto it. Oh, yes. And then there's the very pretty chest. Are the skins valuable? No, they're... I'm gonna hide. Right. Hide inside the... chariot while they... for that chest. Well, the, the skins have kind of deteriorated over time, so you won't get much worth, worth out of them. You do think that you could get quite a bit of worth out of the chariot if you were to repair it and get it out of here. Good luck getting it up the hole, though. Exactly. We need to bring item. Yeah. You need to be level 6 so that you have fly. <laughs> we need to tame that sand beast and just have it tunnel us away out of here. And we or basically... we just need a, scr a scroll of shrink item would do it. And then we harness it to the wagon and we just drive it out. That would be pretty pimping. How much do we estimate this chariot to be worth? I don't know. How much do you estimate it to be worth? Uh, appraise 18. You estimate... Uh, is that the uh, chariot is worth 100 right now or 150 if you were to restore it? 
Okay. Okay, so nice, but not really worth a hassle. Just... Yes. By the time we can get it out of here, it will not be our concern anymore. The scroll would cost more than anyways. Okay, mm -hmm. let's uh, keep looking. Are oh, you not gonna open the chest? I thought the chest was over here. No, no, no. But that was the chest. That, right there, that is an entire different room. I haven't yeah, read anything. Okay. I, I haven't read a description for anything possible. That's why yet. I'm hiding in the chariot. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna take 20 to do a complete thorough perception check of the 10 by 10 foot box that the chest is in. You're, you're kind of looking at it, and then looking at it some more. Hmm. 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 Quite a pickle. I'll and, open um, the box. You are, <laughs> at the end, sure of it. That thing is trapped. Oh. But how so? What do you see that raises well, your suspicion? <clears throat> Good luck, the chest is The chest is <laughs> locked. And uh, Elas, you think that there's uh, some kind of track that activates uh, when you try to unlock it? By picking okay. it. So if we smash it, it should be fine. Yeah. Well, then the very beautiful carry it up. chest would also be destroyed. Probably including Quick the contents. Question. We tie a rope around it and go into the other room and then drag it out. What? Uh, okay, I'm gonna take off my armor. Takes a little bit. And then I'm gonna unroll my thieves tools. And I'm gonna try to disable the trap. While asking everyone else to step back. Stand back, I'm a professional. Fighting. Okay, I'm really how not. much does the chest look uh, in worth? I'm very much an enthusiastic amateur. Uh, what was that 23 ally? Uh, how much the chest looks to be worth? 200 gold as an art piece. So the chest is better than the fucking chariot. And you want a to chariot smash is, because... Look, the, the reason why a chariot is worth less is because a chest is actually still useful. A chariot, yeah. not so much. Especially a chest with a nice intricate trap like this one. Assuming Illos can, you know... Mm. Not break it. Is any of you agile or dexterous by any chance? You are. <laughs> Just me, great. I have 14 decks, so I don't think so. I have 12 decks. 14 works. Um... Uh... Trained only, shit. Never mind. Okay. I'm gonna roll out my uh, trap, thieves tools, and carefully try to dismantle the. or disable Crouching down. <clears throat> how does. Uh, what was the penalty for failure again? I mean, how much do you need to fail to trigger it? Five, five right? Five or more. I think it's five or more. I will double check. You go like. You, you, you start tinkering around with the trap and you hear a click and you and you duck down at, uh, from that sound but nothing happens. <laughs> I told him I had to do that. It's not disabled yeah. yet, though. Oh. If you fail by four or less, you have failed but can try again. If you fail by five or more, something goes wrong. Make if the device the trap is trapped, trap, you spring it. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's well, try since you rolled a ten, it could go either way. Yeah. Go ahead. And knowing my luck today, it's gonna go the other way. Yeah, Yet again, you hear this <laughs> ominous click, and you cower in fear, but no, nothing. Nor does, is the trap disabled. God damn it. Okay, you, for sure. You're shot. sitting there for sweating train. bullets at this point. Red wire or blue wire? <laughs> Can anyone give him resistance or a luck bonus or something? Uh, everyone knows that 20 is the magical number for, uh, for CR1 traps. I can't believe yep. you did 18, 19, and then 20. That's amazing. And this time it goes click! And yet again, you, you, you cower. But it seems that... You, 
l lazily a um, uh, a razor sharp blade slowly uh, slides out of it. You, you disable the spring that would uh, otherwise spring it into your face. You manage to disable the spring and uh, get it to just slide out slowly. The only thing that would have removed that stupid brand on your forehead and you disabled it. <laughs> That's no, true. because um, That's you can see that... Uh, that don't ask how this is still potent and active, but the blade is slightly dripping with poison. Yes, oh. this has been here for several that thousands is of years. Seriously virulent poison. Fascinating. What's inside the box? The box is locked. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, Ellis. Alright. Uh. You know what? I'll again. just I'll just take one. You know what? First, I'll take ten. If that doesn't work, I'll take twenty. It'll you take cannot me, take like, twenty on uh, on on disable device to unlock. If you just yes, if you, you fail by five yes, or more. No, that's only for traps or other devices. Open lock is separate. Oh, you can take twenty. So <laughs> you're sitting there. Yeah. Click, <sighs> click, <sighs> click, <sighs> click, <sighs> click. I <sighs> got that. Click, <sighs> and then. It's that basically what open. locksmiths do. Yeah. No, locksmiths take a drill and just drill out the lock. <laughs> That's Nowadays. what the bad ones do. The good ones can fix it. But okay, then I open it. Oh. Yet again, I made a mistake. You did detect magic from the from the box. Whoops. Was it a trap or? No poison. Of magical items. items. Okay. You find two potions, no, three potions, po potions even. Anyone want to guess which ones? Cure light cure wounds, light cure light wounds, cure light wounds. No, cure light wounds, cure light wounds, cure light wounds, and target and vision. And... Oh, potion of wish. Touch of the sea. Underwater breathing. <laughs> and Abelif lung. <laughs> no, it's uh, cure light wounds twice and dark vision once. Okay. So that's the it's first thing. There's a potion of dark vision in there. Yes. That's pretty valuable. Yeah. Well, it's also a... inside. You find two books with thin <gasps> <laughs> with thin pages made of gold. Do I no magic from those right books? Now. No. Oh. There's no magic coming from them, but they are made of. Li they are literally made of gold. Okay, I'll do an appraise. See what's the worth. I wonder how long Zach is gonna cower in the wagon. Well, I can't hear you guys, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you can hear the old player. A three hundred each. They also weigh 25 pounds, as they are made of solid gold. I'd like oh, to read I'll them before we sell them. Let just carry them. Well, there's some good news and some bad news. They can be read, but they're written in ancient Osiriani. Well, I happen to be able to read this easily. What's the what? matter? Wanna know what it oh, says? You'll have to read them to me. It's a crossword yeah. puzzle. One of Why them... can't you guys read this? This is just the same as we have been reading all the time along. The same... Just to see Rihanna, you right? Not really. That's not a Sirianni. It's a Sirianni. It's Look, it says here... Yanni. No. Why? Wait. You can't... But you could... You could read a Siriani yesterday. It makes I no sense. I can read a Siriani today, but I can't read that sneaky book. Will you trust a native to, to a Syrian that tell you that that's not uh, a present or Siriani? Well, why can I read it then? The only experience with a Siriani that I have is from this traveler's book I was reading on the ship. And he has a. Uh, read it. <laughs> uh, are you are you holding up the book? As a yes. like Osiriani for dummies. Yeah, it's like a, a, a white and a, it's like a, a yellow and black book 
with a caricature of an, uh, of an Osiriani man on front. He's holding his, his finger up and then Osiriani for dummies. Yes. Learn Osiriani in only believing. seven days. I take the book and I check the publishing date. I'm guessing this was published <laughs> about 6,000 years ago. No, it's actually a modern Suddenly book. Suddenly it all makes sense. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Uh, no. Wouldn't even surprise me. But Vickers <laughs> pondering over that mystery. Well, you were looking at the book. One of them is a short, uh, short bi- biography of Akentepi, and the second is a list and description of the various military campaigns conducted by the nation of Assyria between uh, 2350 and 2450. It's very history heavy. I would love for you to read me those later on. And you, yes. you and you rate the you rate the autobiography as slightly self-aggrandizing. To be fair, it's only that. slightly self-aggrandizing, and it's a self-biography. It's probably above average. Okay. Well, because what you we have read here for Zakramil, when you tuck him into his. Are you gonna bring the chest? Hmm. How heavy is the chest? I don't think he said. The chest itself is worth three. Uh, no, the chest itself is worth two hundred as an art piece. Well, we so, could. Yeah, you, uh, you, you we can could tie the probably... rope to it when we go back up. Yeah, yeah you you can. Uh, uh, we... Basically, you can put it in a pile below the hole, and then later. When you're yeah, but it, getting out of it's here. marked for it's marked for transport at least. Bring it can yes. you add it to your inventory list? That way we won't forget to sell it. Uh, I will add anything can... that is. Shall, shall I use the loot pile as a literal loot pile? Yes. Yes. Please add we... the portions as well. But you have already added the alchemist fires, right, Alice? Well, why can't you guys take the potions? There you go. I think I think Vikas and Elos should take the Kirillite heat. Well, yeah. the thing is, we, we probably won't ever be able to use them in combat. So, uh, Alai would probably do best carrying one. Because she will be aware. right next to you as you will, if you ever go down. Are you all aware of my house rule on potions? Yeah, no. max heal? Yeah, they heal for max because the, the price. Okay. Okay. And okay. because otherwise you're just fiddling around with fifteen thousand heals every time you need to heal. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome. Uh, Alai Does and Vickers. Does work for healing wands? No. <laughs> because otherwise a wand is simply too good. Here. Four funerary masks hang on one wall of this short hallway, staring down as if in judgment at anyone standing in the corridor. Uh, Ivan, maybe you should take a cure light wall? Yeah, I'll take one. You have yeah, to type uh, in the names. loot. Character names. Yeah. A mistake. Uh, slash loot. I'll do a detect magic. You know, you these detect- pieces of art are pretty shoddy at judging the trespassers here, right? Alas. <laughs> so, they seem I'll to say. not really be doing anything as, uh, as Ally is face to face with the faces. Well, but... my conscience is clear. I'll move on ahead. Alai, can you give me What do I feel four... like this mark on my forehead is no, like uh, give me, Give me two knowledge religions. The first two, you can plainly... Um, the first two masks, you can plainly uh, recognize as images of Farazma and Abadar. But the second set of two... Hmm. You're not quite I sure. I roll as well? Yeah, everyone is looking at it and would roll... Knowledge religion? Nope, and nope. I don't have for I don't have religion as a skill, so. All right. Yeah. Anyone else? Beck is the only one. Uh, There's some dudes. 
<laughs> okay. So no how they are see. made of gold. Can I take the magic. one from Forasma and take it off can, of the Can you wall? wait to take magic? You can. I did as well as I gonna I didn't hear anything right. from okay. magic wise, so Can uh, I put on one of the masks? They're not really meant to be put on. See, funerary masks are just meant to be laid on the face. You know what I mean? Uh, they're, they're not like latches, just... Okay. Also... Ah, never mind. <laughs> put some sticky um, embalming fluid uh, on the table, back. if you want to glue it to your face. Um... <laughs> that would be an option. Alice, <laughs> that, might be a, that might actually be a solution for your thief, though... I would not pick Farazma as the mask to wear because that might make the Farazman priests. <laughs> that might have worse consequences than uh, you know. If we're taking him off, we should at least give him back to the church. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, there's nothing with them. Oh, okay then. Uh, shall I add uh, masks? Yes, yeah, why not? Can you Wanted give me a praise? A, yes. I will give you an appraise. A praise, this. Um. <laughs> yes. Uh, one is enough. I mean, they're all uh, about the same. Uh, they're worth seventy-five gold pieces each, because they're gold plated. Up. Not not entirely gold, but they're gold plated. As for the next room, yes, this is literally three separate rooms for the, the dungeon. A table displaying a three-dimensional diorama occupies much of the north side of this room. Three shields with different designs are displayed upon a rack against the east wall, while various weapons hang from another rack along the south wall. Arrayed around the room are five small chests and a clay urn. Five? Alai, you detect some magic from, uh, from the diorama. Okay, uh... 21 enough for spellcraft? Uh... Yes. Uh, I don't know what kind of aura that is actually. Fuck. Uh, animated object aura. <laughs> uh, the, the transmutation. Transmutation aura. <laughs> you don't know uh. that it's animated object. Well, I'm incredibly eager to have a look at those weapons. Same here. Good. Well, I did warn you about the aura, so it's your choice if you want to go in. Oh, as soon as you enter, it would take me about three okay. tiny. Uh, uh, yeah, you were warned, so you are kind of wary of the table. Three tiny wooden dolls jump off the table. Ah, hmm. oh, that's cute. Oh, that's they're about as, uh, they're about half as high as a uh, sack. Nice, I rolled nice on initiative. I did not. <laughs> Same. The, it walk at five foot steps to... Oh, wait. Actually not. Is it tiny? It is tiny, so it moves into you. Oh, yeah. So it's that provokes you. from me. No, because you're flat-footed. Yeah, but you're flat-footed. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it moves into you, and it smacks you with... It's fist. It oh, misses. Cute. You're in a room full of weapons and they've missed you. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> they could have made the weapons animated, but no. But this one is here in my square? Yes. Okay. Spell combat. A... First, I smash the one next to me. Uh, it seems less effective 
19. Okay. And then I uh, used a ray of frost at that flat footed one over there. Both of them are. This that's. One. Uh, that's touch. Oh, one. actually. Actually, this one. That's touch. It hits. It's actually flat footed touch. So that's. It's 10. <laughs> Basically ten, yeah. No, actually, it has natural. No, uh, yeah, natural still counts. No size, size still counts. counts. Yeah. So it has Two twelve. Damage. Mm. It burns slightly. No, it uh, it freezes slightly as it skitters towards you. Skitter, 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 skitter. That provokes. Uh, do I get attack opportunity when I'm... Nope, you're flat footed. No, because you're flat footed. Uh, uh, Go ahead. So, I still have my claymore in one hand. Or, actually at the end of my turn I can choose if I re-grip it. Yeah. But, so, let's just assume two hands. Because that's what I want. And you impale it on the end of your claim. You basically just hold your claymore there and it runs into it. <laughs> They're not very good at this. Zack? Uh, five foot and whip that thing. Oh, minus two damage. You totally miss. Alas. I'm gonna take a... <laughs> Five foot step here, and I'm gonna uh, swift action, uh, encouraging shout, and I'm gonna stab it. Okay. <laughs> and you kill Is it. Is that times per day? I, no, I can. Nope. As long as I have one minute to rest between fights, I can use it all day. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> nobody actually uh, thought to to make a knowledge because that those things actually had hardness. <laughs> Are they clay dolls? Or... Basically. They weren't so hard. Oh. <laughs> well, the one that wanted to do it was last in initiative, so... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm guessing this is another chest? Or those are the free clay chests? <clears throat> but you aren't clay. Five well, small chests. let's go through three. everything. Ficus, you're standing next to it, so I'll start with that. There's a, a tiny stone and wooden st st uh, ha. It's a sculpted landscape and tiny stone and wooden statues in a diorama. And it depicts an ancient battle between the city of Wati and something un 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 unidentified. To the east, you have this weapon rack. And as I said before, there are three shields on it. You have... Uh... Right the weapons rack is south, but the shields are. Yeah. The east. The shield on the right of uh, the the east is a uh, light wooden shield. It looks exactly like the the shields worn by the the the, the silent the the tiny things that just attacked you. Um, it bears. Ancient Osiriani Hieroglyphs, and it spells the name Akantepi. Value. There is a there is also a light wooden shield on the left, which does not seem to be from here. Anyone with knowledge of geography? Nope. What's that, 16? Uh, praise. Okay. I forgot how incompetent level 1 characters can be. It's fun. Yeah. Well, you don't know really, but it's it's a light wooden shield. The center shield, though, is unusual. You see, it is shaped like uh, a scarab, yeah. and it it matches the one borne by Akintepi and all of the engravings that you saw before. It's a light steel Magic? shield. So, no. Mm. So you have two light uh, two light wooden shields. A light steel shield. The value is uh, 
Da -da -da -da. Are shields still in good condition? Actually, it is magic. Wow. What the fuck? Why did they put it in the description? They put it all at the end. It is indeed a magic shield. In fact, this is the shield. <gasps> that is quite a cool shield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Badass. That was a light shield, right? That's a light, a light steel, steel shield. shield. And, um, well, let me read first because we are using a system. Let me, let me tell you what it can and cannot do. <sighs> it's basically a masterwork light steel shield for you. But once per day on command, it can great, grant you a plus two sacred bonus on a saving throw against uh, fear and death effects. For uh, no, sorry, it grants you a plus two sacred bonus on saving throws against fear and death effects for three minutes. And at any time while that effect is in action, uh, while that uh, bonus is in effect, you can end it as a swift action for a burst of healing energy. You lose the bonus. But you are immediately healed for 1d8 plus 3 damage. Hmm. I'm thinking it maybe also, Zach should take that. It is also an, an, an anti swarm shield. That mean? A, if a mindless swarm attempts to enter your space, it must make a will save. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would love that shield. If the, would... if the save fails, the swarm instinctively avoids your space and it will okay. ignore you for three entire rounds or until you make an attack hmm. it also only functions one per day once per day i have to activate uh, the bonus before oh yes. it's what's not the immediate. name of the shields just so we can look it up scarab shield uh, i look in the it's look in the in the handout name those are always the accurate names. So, remember, it's, okay. normally it would function as a plus one shield, but there is no plus one, so it's just a masterwork shield. Well, it would fetch us a lot of money if we were to sell it, though. And you can sell it as much. Well, mine is the price for the... Well, that is a lot of money. Well, uh, we'd get about no, 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 mine is the plus one so price. Don't each. forget. It's not magic, it's masterwork. Wait, no, it's a plus one light steel. Okay, why did you say masterwork? Because it's because we're using the, the yeah. system where no. Uh, okay, so subtract 2000 then. So it's only worth 2400. Yeah. Wait, no. Plus one shields are worth 1000. <clears throat> so it's worth 3400. Oh, yeah. I will write it down in the file. Oh, well, I think. That's a lot of money for us anyway, so we should sell it. Okay. Yeah, uh, do not add money yet. There are special circumstances going on about selling, because, you know, this is a city, and just as any city, it has a limited amount of uh, base, um, uh, base value. You see, if there are 20 groups uh, going into tombs at the same time, the market is going to be flooded. <laughs> Basically... What you're saying is we need Until to kill further all the notice, um, sales are only happening at quarter of the value. No. <laughs> because there's simply so much. But there, you will get a chance in the future to get a better price. You can just speculate and wait. <laughs> so. Well, I'll <laughs> just use it till later then. Mm. Yes. Arab Shield, alright. Okay. We'd only get like 800 gold for it, so... Uh, can you take it then, Zach? Okay, I'm gonna... Also, uh, the shield, is, isn't it a bit too big for you? Because it's medium? Oh. 
Doesn't... That screwed me over. I don't know. Are actually. we using the sizing rules on gear? Because that massively fucks over small characters. Yeah, okay, let's not. Only if it's large. Um, I'll just assume for si a gear size that small and medium is basically the same thing. Isn't there a rule that magic armor automatically changes size to... Uh... No. Close to armor generally does not. But oh, okay. because of APs are generally written for a normal party, like 90% of all the stuff that drops is medium size. No, everything that drops. It's the same reason size. why playing a gunslinger in an AP is really frustrating, because they never drop guns unless it's, you know, an AP for a gunslinger, <laughs> like the <laughs> sci fi one. Anyway, so uh, I'll just assume that everything that drops is uh, both small and medium. Un until it's taken by someone I and then becomes the one size. Okay? So it's 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 okay. meta it's uh, it's quantum small medium until you take it now it's small. It's medium. <laughs> oh, chests! I can't believe it's not medium. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take twenty to look over all the chests since there seems to be a proclivity for traps in these parts. What about the swords? Or yeah, let's take Alice's thing first. Yes, let me do the chest first. <laughs> they are all. They are non, none of them are locked, but they ha have been sealed with wax, and they are not trapped either. Wax. Do I hear buzzing coming from the inside? No. Just. Not bees, it's just wax. Okay, because there's nobody put like a bee swarm in there. That would, <laughs> that would be amazing, and I would high five Paizo with it if they did that. Well, I would if he's not. going to open it, I'm going to hold my breath. <laughs> this is not Dark Souls. <laughs> like he opens it and up when he when it's almost open you suddenly see a green glow. <laughs> I start rolling backwards. Roll away. <laughs> okay. Make uh, a roll timing backs. check. A crossbow appears as he opens it. <laughs> um uh, Zack is going to, to get an uh, get an orgasm when he reads what's in here. First of all, one of them contains uh, one of them contains a sack <laughs> of gold with 100.42 GP. Sorry, uh, 104.2 GP. Add it to the loot pile. Yes, I will add it. You do not need to write it down. <laughs> The others contain several scroll tubes holding papyrus records, private memos, expense ledgers, speeches and private correspondence. Among the papers you find discussions regarding the unfinished tomb of Akintepi's mistress. There is little else of interest in the papers. But you think that to a, con to, that to a, a historian or a serionologist, they could be worth quite a bit. Are they all in ancient Assyrian, you said? What did you think? Oh? No. Yes. Oh lord, <laughs> no. I'm going to have to read all this to the tiny little I'm have a cozy worm, time. aren't I? <laughs> <sighs> now I'll imagine... Cook and you'll read. Uh, now I have this mental image that you're... Basically... Um, Zack is lying in bed, and, and Vickers is sitting next to the bed on a chair reading the book to him. Well, the worst part is that he can't actually teach it to me because he doesn't know that he knows it. Can he? Uh, you'll get an opportunity later to, to pick up the language. Legit. Okay. Now, there's still one thing to go here. Um, Weapons. the rack on the south wall, it holds a comp composite short bow, a kopesh, 
and a spear. Though the composite short bow, uh, well, it's I call it a composite short bow, but basically now it's just a band stick as the string has kind of deteriorated into not, no longer a string. Oh, cool, boomerang. I would like to bring them all with me so I can study them. <laughs> Add them to the list. I can even repair that bow. Uh, and lastly, you've there is a a, a, a sealed clay urn. And um, it is sealed with wax. What do you do with the sealed clay urn? I just know I, it's on my. I unseal it. You unseal it. It smells nice. What is this? Hmm. Seems to be some kind of perfume. Okay. I'll quickly estimate the value and then try and you know push it back into the wax. Um, Illus, would you have some wax by chance? Uh, you know, uh, your hair is on just fire. Wax, just heat it up again. <laughs> it's not fire. How many times have I told you? Beryl, don't argue with me. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you don't need torches. <laughs> but you do, it's what? strange. It's like... It's... it's it doesn't give light. I'm kind of picturing it like... Yeah, it's it's a bit like coal, like really, really hot coals, like when they're glowing red, but it's not actually creating very much light. Mm. Yes. Um, you're not quite sure how much that would be worth. You're not an expert on uh, perfumes. Maybe someone else could be, like Alai, maybe. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> you know that smell. It's nard. But that rolls off the tongue. It smells like Nord, and that is worth, for this amount, about 75 GP. Though, of course, at the moment the market is kind of being flooded. But that's about all you find in this room. No keys. Well, good thing we have your crowbar. <laughs> Let me try to pick him first, shall we? It, How about it, it occurs to you that uh, that that was probably no. intentional that there is no key to that door. If I sit in this, I should just push it down the side, like down the stairs, mm -hmm. push through the door. You want to get no. yourself killed? Have to die. Oh. What did I hear? You love to die. Say no more. <laughs> what kind of spear was that, by the way? Uh, A spear. 14. It's a spear. Alright. But which, which dog will you pick? Maybe one more channel. Just to top us off. I'm thinking the left one. Yes. Uh, do you want a channel? Yeah, I would not mind having a channel. Well, if you have the spares, might as well. Mm hmm. Sure. 
Maybe that's just enough. Perfect. Thank it's you. It's still a locked door. Mm -hmm. Can we break it or pick Is it? Is it locked or blocked? Locked. Also, Elos, uh, no, Vickis. It's about at this point that your uh, mage armor would probably run out. Okay. We give a second scroll to Alai and I say if we manage to open that door, you can cast the second one on me. I'll start okay, okay. clicking the door. I'll uh, first take 10 for 18. Mm. Click, clack. No. Yeah, I'm gonna roll twice, and if that doesn't do it, I'll just, uh... I'll take 20. Nope. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, 20 it is. How much do you get with 20, by the way? Uh, up to 28. Okay, that's exactly how much you needed. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and then I'm gonna step back for a sec, put on my breastplate, and then open it. Toss it, I... That was a no. really annoying door. Okay, I'll cast Major Armor on you. Okay. Man, I hated that. This part, yeah, this book wasn't uh, wasn't bound correctly at the factory, so it's kind of falling apart. The first book yeah, of DMP. Mine, mine fell apart as well. You should burn your books immediately since you're playing this now. Well, it's at the cabin. I can't read it anyway. Um. Good. Don't read it. This short hallway narrows sharply <laughs> to the west. Descending, descending to set of stairs that abruptly ends at a rough rock wall. I think they accidentally a, a word. Hey, they accidentally a word. Uh, well, is this caved in? Wait, 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 wait. Elas, you notice. The outline here. Here. Of what appears to be a secret door. <gasps> well, a hidden door. Uh, and it was... in this square? Yeah. But as you attempt to open it, you get a message box. Does not open from this side. Box. <laughs> That's frustrating. Um, so not, not particularly stealthy. You hear the, the you hear skittering from the end of the hallway. Look over here. Okay, yeah. I'll let everyone know that there's. Get her coming. Okay, give me a second because I I've been kind of not doing this. Uh. Okay, let me first show the things that I actually forgot to show you. This is the, the in owner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On an entirely different note, you hear some skittering. <laughs> this is the in owner. These are his children. He makes about 7.5 GP a month. <laughs> okay, I he has two something. sons, they're both burrowing insects. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about them, this is what they look like. Are they, uh, uh, what are they called? Um, they're spot beetles. on. These are beetles. Looks like some kind of scarab. No, they're beetles. Well, it does say mining beetle up top, so. Yes, they are mining beetles. In fact, <laughs> let me open Hero Lab because Hero Lab must help me now. Because again, they, I hate, I really hate They have hate a them. barrel speed and a flash that can, uh, dazzle things, I think. How do you know? You don't know that, shut up! Yes, I don't know that in character, but I was just reminding you. 
Yeah, but uh, I, I hate it. I really hate it when Paizo uh, puts, like, advanced X in the book. That's, yeah, thank you. Mm. Yeah, that is you annoying. Original. Templates. If you Templates give... are a great way to go. See the stat block? It's no longer relevant. Yeah. <laughs> And Did I this really... <laughs> I just out of the window. <laughs> Time to Luckily, start over. <laughs> Hero Lab can automatically apply. Man. Yep. Okay, I Have you used, have you used Hero Lab in your activate. own sessions while GMing, by the way? Not yet, but we can talk about that after the session. Yeah, we, sh we shall. Getting done late, so I kind of want to wrap up this uh, tomb. Yes. I'm going to take a swift action to activate Encouraging Roar, and then I'm going to take a 5 foot step... No, I'm not. And I'm going to take a reaction to attack the first beep middle that, are, that approaches me. Mm -hmm. I figured out if we can just hold them in that narrow little hallway... Yep, yeah, I'm going to go here and do the same. Unless they start burrowing, of course. They are actually providing light. Hopefully, they're not that smart. All around them. Yeah. Those pictures look amazing with the uh, transparent background. Thank you, thank you. Click on them. What? Pictures. You click on the zoom on the mining beetle. Oh, right. With, with the transparent background, it looks amazing. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, Vic, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I move here. As a swift, I activate my uh, arcane pool on my blades. It becomes light blue as I magic weapon it. And, uh, <laughs> do, I... do do like? Yes, I, I run my my arm ago, uh, uh, across the stretched blade in front of me. Then I move there, and I uh, ready a a two-handed attack at the first thing that comes within reach. It's so. It's advanced and it still only has 6 HP. <laughs> it skips towards you. Yeah. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it, it, uh, it skitters towards you but abruptly stops skittering. <laughs> well, the good <laughs> thing is that it, 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 it died here, so Vickers, your attack didn't actually trigger yet. Mm -hmm. I know. Neither did mine. Oh wait, mine did. But my attack of opportunity didn't. Yes. Yes. Ally! We got this bitch. <laughs> yeah, oh. they can handle it pretty well. I'll leave it to them. I'll just watch <laughs> and cheer them on. <laughs> you know, no, I'm pretty underwhelmed with the 18 to 20 quit range. Uh, that's no. actually a 27, <laughs> since uh, the spare gives me a plus 2 on attack, so nope. <laughs> But Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> Dangerous to go here. You're not supposed to fight these advanced beetles yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there are you know, no for the main accessible hinges. Beetles were easier there there are no thing. accessible hinges or lock mechanisms to the secret door on this side. Hmm. Well, we can go up or down. You know, what I suggest is that we close this door and we jam it. But it is closed. What is, or... what is the door made out of? The secret T one. Stone. Uh, to blend into the stone that... around it. Okay. Uh, does this, the double doors, do they have handles? Uh, yeah. Do they open inwards or outwards? I don't know. Outwards. Okay, so towards us. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna take uh, a bit of rope and I'm gonna tie the handles together and I'm also gonna take one python and hammer it in under each door. <laughs> So that okay. if anyone uses the door to try and escape, they'll be trapped in her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That includes us, so let's try to keep our rescue routes clear. Let's try and open this lady <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. 
We were waltzing towards yeah. the door. <laughs> okay, Vic, uh, Alas, I'm assuming that you lockpick it. Is that a correct assumption? Sounds good. You pick lock. Behind it you find another <laughs> equally locked door. Going down. <laughs> On the bright side, it. picking it is a bit more quiet. Mm -hmm. the other Behind end, it, you it find another way. locked door. You know what? Oh my god, what have you done? <laughs> I'm getting this feeling that we're not really welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really valued his porn collection. Can you sell these doors by any chance? Behind it, you find it. No. <laughs> Okay, picking each door takes me seven, no wait, eight minutes. Because I have to take off and all my armor every single time. <laughs> so you just stood there for like half an hour <laughs> unlocking each door. Good. Always stand at the in entrance until I start, until I'm done with reading, by the way. You know that. The That's center of this large octagonal room reading. is a raised square platform a few inches above the floor, with a stone pillar at each corner. A gold-trimmed sarcophagus sits in the stand center of the platform, flanked by two statues of humanoid beings with canine heads, each of which holds an ankh in one of its crossed arms. Stone double doors exit the room to the north and south. Is an Ankh the thing that's that shaped like this? Yes. Like Egyptian cross. Yeah. Okay, now please delete your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> or, or shaped like, you know, this. <laughs> oh, I will cut you. I'm not even in the room <laughs> to see what you're drawing. I still feel awkward. <laughs> um, yeah. Detect magic. Coming right up. <laughs> you detect transmutation from the sarcophagus. Uh, again. How powerful is it? I don't know. <laughs> Medium okay. to What does the scouter say about its power level? <laughs> it's over to... <laughs> Cast the levels. Okay. <laughs> It's over two. Holy sh! Three, two and a half. Hmm. This is hmm. oh yeah. Wait, what's the thing on the there? What? Yeah, what was this? Uh, they are just. I guess that's one of the. Four I don't know what they are. Things. Oh. One pillar in each corner. So. Look for traps. I think those are the pillars. Uh, what part am I looking for traps for? I can take twenty, but it takes a couple of minutes for every <laughs> ten foot square. That would take one. Mm. Uh, one, two. Probably. Three, four. Well, can best best. Slide stop. Open this thing? You know what? <clears throat> Stop, no. Pick a step on it. Yeah. While I was calculating what part of the room to search for traps. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna search the raised roof because that would only take about five minutes, but... Yeah, but that was not actually the only okay. trigger. That was one of the triggers. But... As you... Vickers, as you step onto the center platform, suddenly... The door behind Alai and Zakramil slams shut. And a and an internal bar slides into place. Oh god. Oh god indeed. An internal oh what? Bar. A bar that runs through the doors. Ah. Okay. Like from a Let vault keep, door. Keep standing where you are, by the way. On the other side... Uh, 
Wait, mm. is that an animated object? Yes. At the same time... We detected time, magic. Yes. Yeah, we did. And I told you, you detect transmutation. Uh, okay. And at the same time, uh, bolts of electricity uh, spark between the, uh, the two statues to the left and right of the sarcophagus onto the sarcophagus as it starts floating around. Ow. Striking anyone standing atop the platform. Make a reflex save, Ficus. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, uh, oh, it was click the save macro. Ha! Ha ha! So you take 1d6 electricity <laughs> instead of 2d6. Oh god damn it. Max damage. <laughs> really? So lame. On the right side, if that's half damage, then. And now it goes. Bzzz, and then it off, stops. Of course. Well, it could have been 2 damage, even if I did not yeah, say. Or, or 12. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But. A thing in the middle yes. starts God. moving and moves to attack you, but you see it all happening, Alai. Get on, got, get on and move and, ah, get on with it. Get on, okay, move on. Uh, Thank you. I'll do it. <laughs> Since it's an emmet object, I don't think a knowledge would be a good idea. Well, we could. It can never hurt because knowledge is free. Through, it's construct, so You know what? You know what this calls for? Who, uh, epic Who battle music? Battle music, yeah. It is an, indeed... A, lo uh, a medium animated object. What's important about these is that these have hardness 5. They are immune to usual construct things like magic, but they are vulnerable to cold. This particular one, as it is a sarcophagus, it can swallow whole. But it's also brittle and slower. Because, you know, it's a sarcophagus. Does the gold damage do anything else except for deal more damage? No, nothing else. Okay. Okay, seeing as I know about the, the swallow hole... Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna ask, because it my idea might not work. A greased person has an easier escape, right? Uh, swallow uh, hole, yeah, grapple. You, uh, swallow hole, you, you need to cut yourself out. Uh, how does that work action economy wise for the thing that swallows? But swallow hole is still a grapple check. So grease would help against that. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use um, cast grease on Vickis to make his close greased, and I'll use an arcade point to increase the. Okay, you do that, a Camille. There. No point using the arcane point. Uh, yeah, I'll five foot and your light wounds on uh, because are the yes. statues still shocking? No, they stopped. It was just one burst to animate the sarcophagus and hurt anyone on top of it. I see. Oh. oh yes, I love you. That was nice. It's a good level now. <laughs> Suddenly, the northern door <laughs> slams yes, open and water starts gushing in at an alarming speed. Oh god. Ow. Thank god you have that rank in swim. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was laughing so hard, by the way, when you told me that you were going to take one. Oh god. <laughs> And I don't have any armor check penalty because I'm a magus. <laughs> well, lucky you. <laughs> yes. And in the other corner, we have the gnome in medium armor and. 
a dumb string. <laughs> Writes a little bit quick. Yeah, we're still the water is, here. The water is now at a depth of se of uh, of half a foot. As I said, okay, so it's, it's only going in extremely height. fast because half a foot in a room as big as this is a lot of water. I think we need to kill this thing as quickly as possible and find a way to open the doors again. Okay. It tries to. Um, I put a secret it, it, door, we jam. It five foot. Yeah, you fucked yourself there. Uh, <laughs> it oh. five. It five foot. Uh, you know, hops. What, what? Yeah, I don't know. To you. And it tries to uh, to to bite you. Like it. <laughs> it's like it goes like. Oh no! Swallow a hole. Jesus. Oh, you. Like if it manages to bite you, it might. Oh, of course it is. Mm. For six damage and a free grapple. But Greece, what does that do? Plus twenty. <laughs> Plus ten uh, circumstance bonus. Oh. So. Nope. Yeah. No Greece. <laughs> so you've been electrified and you're Grease, so Grease Lightning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh no. Alice! Just keep standing there. Uh, I, I can shield myself up. As long as you keep healing me. Do you want me to move? I can move yeah, up and attack. Sure. No, just attack, I'll tank it. If I shield, I have a higher AC than you do. And I'm Greased. Lightning. Yeah, okay, uh, swift action, encouraging war, and then I'm just gonna stab it with my spear. Uh, 18. Sorry, 16. That hits. Uh, 12 damage. We need to burp out just a tiny bit. Vickus, why are you here? Oh yeah. Vickers. Magic weapon. Uh, I'll delay until after Zepremiel heals me, actually, because then I will not take the penalty for being wounded. <laughs> the water has by now reached uh, up to one foot, one and a half feet. Um, everywhere but on the top of the platform is now difficult terrain, and you and the DC of acrobatic shacks in the room have, are increased, but that's not relevant. Uh, Zakamil, for you, it's waist high now. Yeah. I uh, ally. I just said I. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting wet. I think I'm going to do a perception to look around for something, you know, hidden things, uh, ways to get out. Do that. Yeah, I'm not don't see off. anything. You you panic. You look around in a panicked manner. But you, you see shit. What do you do as well? Uh, I guess I'll do an acid splash on the sarco sarcophagus. So minus for cover, minus for melee. It's minus eight. <laughs> That's not gonna hit. Touch versus touch. Even then, Zach. I... Touch a stand, but you take a lot of damage. Heal me, brother! Yeah, plus four uh, for the mod bonuses and minus eight, so minus oh, four, no. so it should hit. That's well, okay. I see you. Remember that, uh, well, I have a cure shot. Gives you a plus two. 
Yeah, that's been added in. I have plus two then from Dex, plus two from your shout, and minus eight from the minuses. That's accurate, my, my attack roll. That's my entire turn. Okay. Okay. Vickis, do your thing. Magic, sword... Uh... And I'm going to one hand slash first. Uh, which is actually 18. Yeah. Uh, no, 19. Yeah. And I do 8 damage. No, uh, 10 damage. Seems less effective. Flashing, yeah. And then I defensively cast shield, hopefully. Come on! Um, Go ahead. Shields uh, plus four concentration. Ah, fuck, I lose it. Oh no, I just don't cast it. Or how does it work? <laughs> no, you just fail the concentration, so you lose the spell. Oh, I lose the spell. Okay, it's gone. Well, I will not be shielding myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I think I'm not going to do it right now, Ellis. Agree? I'm waiting until he realizes. Do what right now? Wild magic. Concentration check failed. Ah, ah. I'll not. That would be a bit mean at that. level 1. Later on I will do it too. But uh, it again goes... No. But this time it bites and slams you because I forgot that I could do that. Oh. Ooh, good. Yeah, I'm dead. No, you're not. That was not a crit. Jesus. This is probably not an ideal will. Uh, eight. Yeah, max damage, of course. No, not max. That's not max at all. Max could have oh. killed you. Also. Wait, why is it 2d6 now? Because it's got two attacks. Ah, oh, okay, you did it together. Yeah. Uh, at this point, the water is uh, is four feet high, and Zakamiel, it's basically up to your shin. Interesting. Alright. Okay. It's, I'm gonna it's declare basically a almost I mean. an, uh, at, at the height of the middle platform. Okay, you declare a gambit. Uh, right, I'm gonna declare a gambit. I'm gonna use the victory gambit to try and kill the animated sarcophagi in one one round. And I'm gonna attack it with a uh, normal attack. Wow, that's that not... damage. Yeah, that's uh, not good. How much damage? Oh, uh, that hits. I yeah. assume I still hit it. Yeah, yeah. damage. Uh, Seven. nine? What? What's the damage? Seven. Oh, just seven. Well, Can't that's you see a lot. the macro? Yeah, but uh, I thought that you needed extra things. But anyway, it's a lot less effective. So your gambit fails. And I'm gonna take a five step up here. Alai. Uh, uh, I'm going to move to here and I should... No, can I move here? Uh, wait, wait, what's your movement speed? 40, uh, 30. So I should be able to make it with difficult terrain. This is, uh, wait. Yeah, that's 25. That you just did. I'm gonna hold my breath, by the way. And... Uh, I can't hit it from here. I'll do another drastic splash, see if it hits. Yeah. That's just soft cover this time. Oh, and melt, yeah. Uh, that hits. Damouche. 
That's the damage. Zack? Yeah. I'm gonna whip it and then move up here, I guess. For your what did you say? VR All I hear is... Yeah. So do I have to move up there before I whip it, or can I whip it? Anyway. Uh, oh, I have as to I said, the water that. is up to your shin. I think yeah. that you might have a hard time doing that. Okay. Oh damn it, I'm gonna have to go and get an attack opportunity on me then. No. But Vickers I can't fight on the wall. And Vickers is not down. So Vickers is staggered. So uh, Vickers provides cover from the sarcophagus so you will not take an attack opportunity. Right, okay, well I'll just hold my breath then and I'll try to attack it from underwater. You can you can go to here without the provoking. Right, okay. Do you have a channel? I can't attack, so I'm gonna have to... Well, I have a channel, but if I use it now, then it's gonna... No, 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 use it after I go in front. Yeah. Uh, I'll attack first, though, before I move. Okay. I'm gonna have loads of penalties from underwater combat. Yeah, that wasn't anyway. going to hit anyway. No. Okay. Vickers? Hmm... Well, since I... Wasted my last spell. Um, I'm just going to. Wait, should I use the spell combat? No, because I will just fail the concentration check. I'm just going to hit it as hard as I can. Let's be two handed. And I critically fucking. Oh die. fuck! Holy shit! Critical fumble, shit! That's a horrible time to roll double ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, luckily, nothing happens. Yay. And I fall unconscious. No, yeah, you just re-roll if you roll something. Mm. Not re-roll the fumble if you roll something that can happen. Nope, you just got lucky then. It's very rare that you get something that can't happen. Yeah. Well, it sees you're down, so it uh, it moves on to LS going... <laughs> That's a bite. Bullshit. That's a slam. Wow. So, should, should I grease you up as well, Ellis? Alas, the the water yep. is now at about your knees. Right. Even though I'm up on the platform. Even though you're up on the platform. Mm. Okay. So that means that the water is at your waist, the okay. Right. <laughs> okay, and this round I also get a penalty because I did not successfully use the <laughs> gambit. Okay. 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 Uh, I guess that means I also can't take a five foot step. Uh, yeah, you cannot take five foot steps anymore. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna just attack it normally. Try to put it down so we can actually find our way out of here. Wait it. You down it. And um Get thick as also get thick as up. I think he's drowning. Yeah, no, he, he is drowning. No, he's, he will he's stop. Staggered. He's not at minus. Yes. No, he's at minus one now. He's down. He get him up. Down okay. before he was under. That's the point. He's open. Yes! I'm alive, baby! <laughs> Let's start swimming. Let's find out for how long. Um, and the water. Um, there seems to be something defective with the trap. As the water just doesn't rise any further. Okay, so. And it sits that way for like two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna spend that two minutes looking for a hidden door. 
anywhere between here and here. Because the door okay. we found earlier was on this side, so it would make sense that it's yeah. on the left side. But, uh, after start. two minutes, uh, the water slowly drains, and over, over a minute, the room is completely empty again. Okay, Ellis. Ah, you're, uh, you're taking t uh, taking twenty over time. Uh, I'm first just gonna do a casual check, but if I don't find anything, I'm gonna take twenty, and I'll let okay. the other guys check the circle of the guy. Three oh, what? bad luck. Yeah, that, yeah, it happens. Level one, luck of the dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right side, so nobody's just, died yet. Are you supposed to do this without a healer? Not. You're not. Low levels, having access to healing is just everything. It's impossible without a healer. But I didn't have to well, we'd have take to it. retreat a lot more. Let's Basically, I didn't have to... Yeah, you couldn't retreat. There were, retreat was not an option here. Yeah, yeah but if it, was, if it was just this fight, then we had Cure Light Wounds potions. But the only reason why we're still going is because we have access to healing. Okay, Otherwise, uh, we would give have you, stopped and uh, Illus, three times. Give me your casual check first. I'll do free checks then, because I, yeah. Be lucky. One, two, three. Yeah, the first Hello. one is both. <laughs> there may be also anything of value here. <laughs> If okay, you look well, at, at the sarcophagus, I mean... it is empty. This seems to not be the actual room he was buried in. No oh, shit. You, you have this feeling that this was meant as a trap room. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> okay, well, since I now know that we can actually get out of here, I'm gonna take 20 on the door behind us to see if I can unlock it. Or, actually, I'm just gonna look it over to see oh, if Oh no, it opens possible. automatically after the water drains. Oh, okay. That's where the water drain. <laughs> Those poor burrower beetles. Their home flooded. A hurricane <laughs> mummy. Okay, well, uh, I guess we should keep moving, guys, unless you wanna keep looking. A bit concerned about Vic is here, just, you know, taking a Have you looked everywhere? Do we actually have any more healing now, or are, we, are you completely drained? We only have the potions. I'm completely drained. <laughs> you guys want to stop, maybe? We've done quite a bit already. Yeah. I think it's wise to stop. Yeah. Could pull out a bit. Two potions is not much healing. Rest stop. Well, you don't have to do it in one day. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, there's really no rush for us in doing this. I mean... I mean, and remember, us. you got a simple tomb. <laughs> Other people probably got literal houses that have been hit by the plague, and God knows what you find there. You know what you get when you die in complete agony? A shadow. Uh, shadows. Fucking shadows. Fucking shadows. I do have a magic weapon against that, so... Let's switch out to level 2, shall we? <laughs> yes. Guys, come on. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, do you guys want to rest up down here, or do you want to climb back out? Well, mm. you rest up in the in here. It's nice and defensible. Doesn't smell too bad. Wherever I get read bedtime stories. Okay. Anyone got? Pop in the chest, Sonny. <laughs> Tell hey, the uh, bar the door. We can use the wagon as as a as a as something to bar the door. Okay. Or we can just hammer, hammer in some pit pythons. Keep it close. You do whatever you need to keep the door closed. And you pass the night. While the Camille gets, uh, gets read bedtime stories. Can we nice. dish I out heal checks? <laughs> yes, I also can. get rid of the weekend? No, not yet. Oh. I thought it was with bed rest. Not yeah, bed rest. Bed rest is a full day. Not necessarily. Yes, it is. It's it is not if you make a heal check right now. Okay, let's That's do why it. we're asking about making heal check. Mm. Okay. 
I no. nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. Oh, God. <laughs> Vickers? You make it worse. Uh, was... Yeah, you can't uh, heal check have, yourself. Have so, why don't you heal check me? I'll heal check yeah. uh, Vickers now. Okay, Zach, you're still weak in tomorrow. You guys are fucking terrifying. <laughs> We're so incompetent, it's funny. Leeches <laughs> are heavily underestimated for medicinal value. Especially if well, you attach all of them to the same place. <laughs> In this case, your eyeball. Hold self. Hold self. No. <laughs> but I do rest up all of my spells, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. You're still so, weak in tow. Can anyone okay. else try to heal me, then you need to heal less next day. I can do a heal check on you, or try yeah. to. Go for it. <laughs> Nailed it. Good. Rocking Let's that see. heal check. Nailed no. it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, Illus can still do one in Zach. <laughs> Come on. Illus? Heal oh. check on. Are, on are we just seriously trying again? Okay. Yes. Okay, Illus. Uh, well, I'm you gonna are... do it. I'm gonna do a heal check on Vickers. It's okay. We made it. I heal too. Okay. Night passes. It is next morning. <laughs> Vickers, do you wake up with like the, the book on your on your lap? <laughs> Fell asleep. No. Thing to say. <laughs> I, I was not going to do that in here. Oh. No. <laughs> there is a time and place for bedtime stories, and this is not the time nor the place for bedtime stories, okay? Oh god, you know you who you heal? remind me of now? <laughs> yes, you know heal? exactly who that reminds me of, because we both heard that word in the same place. You wanna heal? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> I would be delighted. Thank you very much. Ah, that's... yes. I think even my hemorrhoids are gone. Oh, no, I didn't heal those. <laughs> God damn you, gnome. I just stuffed them further in. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that. <laughs> uh, where are you? Oh. I'm gonna have to give you some privacy to deal with that. Fo I'm following him, I'm just doing my spells. Good plan. I'll take opportunity to do my spells after the resting. <laughs> so, dog here. All right. I'm also gonna check just where the water came from. Was there like a, a water tank of some sort, or? Uh, you can see uh, water flowing past behind uh, uh behind the grate. Oh, there's like smells a water like the river sphinx. Interesting. Mm. Okay, let's uh, go. Hey, Eli, can you maybe prepare mage armor as a spell? Because I don't have any scrolls for today left. I was just thinking about it, actually. But no. <laughs> okay. So I assume you cast it on me then. Well, uh, whenever danger approaches, yeah. Yeah. Or when we open a new door. We well, we're probably uh... going to run within a, within danger within one hour. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's on it's you. It's pretty now. long duration. Mage armor's one of those spells you want active when the combat starts. Okay. It's done. Like Mark's just, cool. Hello. I just warn you in time. I only have four spells a day of level one. That's okay. Honestly, that plus four armor is one of the better things you can pry for right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's just I'm just warning because you because it it'll it'll save Zagramiel like three channels or, or more. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> this room nice. holds several neatly arrayed chests, boxes, and urns. The dust of the dust of centuries covers every surface. The only exit is a set of stone double doors to the south. Oh, great. Hmm. 
So maybe a detect oh, magic. Oh, detect magic, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just assume that I always do it when we enter an unknown room. You detect something, something from the wall here. Uh, here. Okay. I'm gonna crack open a couple of boxes. Actually, I'm gonna look over them for traps first, and then I'm gonna crack open... They are not locked, nor trapped. Okay. What's inside of them? I just uh, picked like two or three at random. One's fine clothing and sealed jars of food. They're kind of spoiled and ruins, ruined mostly. But you find a few useful things. Uh, you find several valuable art objects. Give me some, uh, some, uh, appraises. Appraises, yes. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. I'll leave it up to the qualified people. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got half of them. Yeah. Simultaneously, yeah. you got all of all of them. Okay. I'll let Alaya take the lead. She seems to know what she's doing. On the other end, because then you're going like, this is a toilet brush. <laughs> this is also a toilet brush. Hey, always Why buy a plumber before you need one. Brushes. <laughs> <laughs> silver sheen. Oh, I'll mm. take one of the silver sheets. What is that? Uh, it's basically you apply it to a weapon, and then it works as silver. Ah, boring. I can do that myself. Remind me to put, uh, to put, like, a million fey in the next, uh, in the next room. Only if you also include a half-work investigator who's savagely hunting them. <laughs> Where's your fey? Your pants! <laughs> Yeah, you found another uh, uh, urn of Nord. But yeah, that's about all you find. You still detect magic from the wall to the east. Can anyone spellcraft tell what it is? Uh, let me see. Is it is the wall that disappears when you hit it with a weapon? The Pharaoh's lockstone. There is no pla there is no strange face on the wall where you can put a stone in its mouth. Conjuration. Okay, strictly out of character, I feel like this wall is incredibly suspicious. It is. In character, I'm guessing there probably isn't a reason for me to fix it. Ally can give you a reason. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah, I, I tell what what all right goes and all, of course. It's okay. a conjuration over a wall. Mm. Conjuration. I'm gonna take a quick perception check, and if I don't notice anything, I'm gonna poke poke it with my spear just to see what happens. Mm, spear. <laughs> okay, give me perception. Oh. I'm just going to fire a ray of frost at it. Uh, twenty-two. Nothing. It's a wall. A very nice looking wall. Well, actually, you detect. Of course, you see. It's a secret door. <laughs> it's door. a very nice looking wall with a secret door in it. Okay. I'm gonna open it from the side and then I'm gonna take a step back. Okay, you do that. As you touch it, 
A swarm of flesh-eating cockroaches appears. Okay, Can as they move six. into me, I take an attack of opportunity. Uh, it's a swarm. They don't provoke. They do? No? No, also, I don't think they do. And also, you're still flat-footed because you haven't acted yet. Yeah. So if Zagramiel comes to us with a shield, will it flee from all of us? Uh, from he... him. Yeah, but if he's... okay. I think we just need to stand in the same square at all times. We squeeze. That's not possible. You can squeeze, both of us. <laughs> yeah, but do you want the swarm to, to die or not? I can still fight while I'm squeezing. Ally! Suddenly swarm! I don't Burning know how to check. No, well, that's the thing, I changed that for, you know, mage armor. <laughs> Not color spray? <laughs> I got color spray. <laughs> Everything is mindless or immune to mind back in here. Yeah, I just realized that mistake. <laughs> this entire dungeon is color spray proof. Fuck you. It really is. Love it. Oh, alchemist fire. Yes. Nature? Uh, it's a swarm that's... Uh, wait, uh... Let me see... Bestiary... Page 58. Oh god. <clears throat> I have some good news for you. It's vermin. So nature. I have some very good news for you. But first, I'll lie. And nope. Oh, actually, it's just... It's a cockroach swarm! And because it is a swarm, yeah. it can attack you without making... Uh, without making rolls. Also, right, it distracts. Um... I'll stay away from it. Oh, it's also immune to weapon damage. Immune? Yeah, immune yeah. to weapon damage. Uh, did you say you swapped out burning hands? Yeah. yeah. Can't you, like, change it with a full round action? That's quick study, and I, I was not allowed to take that. <laughs> what? We yeah, agreed to not need. take that one thing. That makes the Arcanist overpowered. Alright. Now I should read up on splash weapons. I can't uh, do anything. Ally, also make ray knowledge of... Arcana. Because uh, you, you would know these kind of things. Is a ray of frost or uh, weapon damage? Can you just no. pick up some boxes and throw it at them? Um. You ha also have brilliant inspiration, Ally. This is a swarm that has been summoned. Just wait. We'll basically outrun it. Oh. Which would not be hard. <laughs> See ya. For some of you. <laughs> so everyone can <laughs> run, except for oh, Vickers. You will take 1d6 damage. But... Maybe. Then you can run Not as well. Sure. So, will you eat a d6 and then start running? Wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. He might not have to. Reposition me! Yes. Well, it can just walk into you and then you still take the d6. Depends on how fast it is. Fast enough to move anywhere in this room. Well, let's do it by initiative and see how it works out. Eli's acted, uh, I think it's my turn next. Tell us, you uh, will... Yeah, I am going to use uh, Tactical Strike. Oh, and it's a swift action, I'm going to use Encouraging War. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to attack it. Uh, my attack is going to be at plus six. Does that it's hit the armor class? not very effective. But, it, but I hit it. It's immune, so that shouldn't count as a hit. 
Like... It, do it doesn't matter if it's immune or not, but if the attack actually hits it, then I can do something. Let me see. No, it does not hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thirty. I was going to reposition you out of it, but that attack needs to hit in order to do so. That's okay. Can I can take him. a d6. Okay. Five. Fifteen. Good luck, Zack. Zack. All. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll just start running. Um. The one. Okay, um. You now take a d6 and then you outrun it for three rounds until it disappears. Swarms making combat unenjoyable since Pathfinder was released. <laughs> hey, um, could we take like another five minutes? No, oh, it's the full Because it's, it's like a quarter before the end of the session, so no. Just go okay. use the bathroom. We'll just move you out. Okay. Get a drink or whatever it is. Mm. Honestly, I just go to the bathroom every thirty minutes. I don't think you guys notice. Yeah, I, I know that you do. Meet but... the head to chat. <laughs> But, secret door. Heal, please. Yep. <laughs> yeah. At least you're keeping busy. Thanks. Only got one spell left. Question is, will it be comprehensive or? You say comprehend languages? Yeah, I fit my character, but it's useless anyway. No, it's actually a really good uh, spell. I just cool. don't have a spell left. <laughs> yeah. Ever. <laughs> Maybe not the first spell I pick on a spontaneous cast, <clears throat> but it's not a bad spell. Not bad. Oh, but it fits my characters. So I had to okay, do it. Okay, um, I think, uh, Alice, you were tr uh, attempting to open the door, and after it triggered, you are now able to open it. Great. I'm gonna look around to f try and figure out where the cockroach swarm came from, or how we triggered it. By touching it. With anything. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, that water is like, uh, the water is over you. It's like, you don't see the water, it's like ceiling and then water above. Okay, so we just heard like the gurgling of water past. Yeah, you hear right. gushing water above you. I'm gonna take uh take twenty just to check out that area. That and is get the twenty six. That is the most beautiful door you have ever seen in your life. That sounds a little bit Don't suspicious. <laughs> no, just not actually roll. roll. Okay. Is that roll eleven? No, I took twenty. All right. Sorry, Elos. Yes. Do you open the door? Uh, can you move up uh, Ayani? I will. A lie, by the way. Oh, right. Very tired. I think we just found the real sarcophagus. Yes. Unless you're very sneaky and this is the second decoy. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would suck ass. Oh, there is water behind us. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this one might be a more effective. A sarcophagus covered in gold leaf rests on a raised stone platform in the center of this chamber. The casket's cover is carved the likeness of an a is carved the likeness of an adult they accidentally a word again. Is carved the likeness of an adult man with his arms crossed over his chest and covered in a, in a thick coat of dust. And another word. Two ornate chests sit beyond the days in the northeast and southeast corners, and between them stand two large funerary urns. The sole exit is a door to the west, and as you as you open the door, the guardian of the two uh, of uh, of the sarcophagus 
slithers into action and moves to attack you. Oh, great. <laughs> Ally... Takes delay action, I guess. Delays until the end of the round. Illas. Yeah, I'm gonna use Encouraging Roar and Radiant Attack to stab the thing, if it comes any closer. It comes any closer. Hello. That was very poorly thought out. It's... Uh... Oh, two? Ah, oh, yes. One for attack of opportunity and one because it moves up. The second one gets a plus two because, uh, Elven Spear. Bestiary one? Oh, goody. Uh, you hit the first one, but miss the second one. With 16? You miss it with 16. Yeah. So okay. you do 11 damage. Yep. This hurts quite a bit. It is quite pissed at what you try to do. Is it actually a snake? or? It looks strange. It... it almost looks like it's made of metal. Okay. Yeah. A 4,000 year old snake that survives without food would be strange. Possibly stranger than a metal snake. Yes. I'm glad they went with the metal oh, snake. Oh, goody! That's a hit. If 19 uh, AC? Yeah. Huh. Press plate okay. and uh, dex bonus. Oh, it's actually uh, only 21, not... Uh, I forgot the minus 2. Oh, it's a 20, so it's still a hit. Yeah. Just remember the minus 2 penalty on damage as well. Good that you say. You take one non lethal damage. Ah! I'm injured! Say, wait. Suck. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. This is interesting. Am I still poisoned if I take non lethal damage? Yes. Snakes? Uh, Why did it have to be snakes? Okay. Make a fort save. Let's see if they converted this particular one to Unchained. Uh, I don't <laughs> think it'll be necessary. I'm going to check anyway if they created Black Adder Vettel in Unchained. They actually did not, but I could easily convert it. I would just make it uh, DC 13 and uh, I would make it uh, Constitution Track. Bam. Cool. But, uh, um, am I, do I need to make more saves or was that enough? No, you, you. But that's something else. You do take damage if you yeah. make the save or not with the Unchained system. Ability damage. No, damage damage. It does not matter if you make the save or you do not, you take damage for being exposed. It's a small amount. Oh, uh, 13 minus 10 divided by 2. You take one damage. <laughs> the poison! She burns! Yeah, that's basically... It's the poison burning. You take one poison burning damage. Zack? I can't do anything, so I'm just gonna take a ready action because... in case I... Can I do even... Get within anything? reach. Oh yeah, I can ray of frost. <laughs> hmm. Wait. Did you encouraging roar? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
What's that? My ranged touch attack versus something in melee. <laughs> With soft, soft cover. <laughs> and encouraging oh. roar. Yeah, you miss. A <laughs> lie. Uh, I'm just curious what this thing is, so I'll do a quick knowledge check. And then I'll uh, ray of frost okay, as well. It's an iron cobra. Basically a constructed snake. With uh, It actually has small uh, poison reservoirs. So it can actually only poison you three times before let the poison reservoirs are up. I see. It can also find Good target, light. which is not relevant here. Okay, make your... you miss. <laughs> Elas. Okay, a uh, bit of a question there. I have an ability called Tactical Strike, and I make a melee attack, and if it hits, then any ally I designate within 10 feet of my position can make an immediate free 10-foot movement without broking attack's opportunity. If I use that on myself, could I move through his space and down here or here? Uh, it doesn't say that it doesn't, so yes. Okay, well then I'm gonna uh, release my spare with one hand, punch it with my sisters, with tactical strike. And I'm also gonna declare a victory gambit, because I feel like it's almost dead. Don't use metagaming for, for the broken heart condition, by the way, <laughs> please. Well, I think it makes sense that yeah, you can it tell that it's getting more damage. So, in that sense, I feel like the, the broken yeah, hearts I, I would, would be I would tell you danger. below half anyway, so go ahead. Yeah. Okay, attack coming now. You hit and you kill it. Da -da -da -da. Uh, actually, <laughs> it might not have. It's uh, only 8 damage, not 13. It had 1 HP. Well, in that case, by all means. And you heal. Come again? Can I heal? Uh, victory gambit? Oh, no, it just means that uh, if the fight had continued, you guys would get... Let me check. You would get a plus two bonus on all attack roll, on your next attack roll. In addition well, to the Well, that's kind, uh, uh, kind of a stupid gambit to use against the only enemy available. <laughs> Yeah, but when I use it, I also add my charisma to my attack roll to use it. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like, I take a risk, <laughs> and if it, and I get a bonus on the attack roll to see if it pays off, and if it does, then everyone else benefits. If not, then I get a penalty. So. so it also means that I... Basically, it looks like, like you try to do something heroic, you succeed, you get all the boastful uh, commentations and stuff, but if you fail, <laughs> you get shamed. Pretty much. It's what the Warlord's all about, is taking risks and then seeing if they pay off or not. You find a sarcophagus, a gold-plated sarcophagus, a gold-leaf sarcophagus even. Wanna see what's inside? Excellent. Let's first do some magic and trap finding, you know, it's, not, it's the real know poison somebody. for everyone. You detect magic from all over the fucking place. Yes. Wait, before we push on, is there any other room we haven't explored yet? That we know of, obviously. None that you know of. Gave then one, but that's a dead end. Okay, in that case, we're go I'm gonna take 20 to, ex to perception this whole room. There's Which nothing would take about 10 minutes. at all. Cool. Let's start looting. <laughs> First, I'm guessing somebody sat on the gnome to keep it from opening the sarcophagus in the meantime. Oh, I would yes. be able to lift it, don't worry. <laughs> But you'll be your usual self and jumping around anxiously waiting for Ellis and Vickers to open it. Yeah, That's what I'm imagining you. But I'll just hang over his back and look at wherever he's looking at. I have to say, I kind of see the gnome in a different... ...you now. You healed <laughs> you saved our lives so many times. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Life circles so... are still awesome. It's really handy. Okay, start looting. Yep. As I said, two ornate chests, two large funerary urns, and of course, a sarcophagus. Elas, can you check everything for traps? Because I'm shit at checking. I already traps. did. Okay, we. I opened the chest. Everything there should, should be safe. Okay, one of the chests contains 
a swagger looking piece of armor. <laughs> is it an armored coat? It it's a pimp an armored coat. coat. It's a pimp in armored coat. It's an armored coat, isn't it? Ah, uh, crotch. Action. Yes, it's it a, has a crotch. Thank you very much. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Because the bitches love it. It detects as magic. Or they buried it without him without it. Also, did you know that you cannot technically take 10 on detecting magic items? Because you're concentrating uh, yeah, on we have this detect one. magic. No. I think Roll it's it. a really nonsensical ruling, but. It's a. Stanching padded armor without an enhancement bonus because that's possible in this system. Stanchion, what does that do? It's anti bleeding. And oh, right. it grants you a sense of impending danger. Once per day, as a free action, you can add a plus three inside bonus on any initiative check. Once per day. I will add it to the loot pile. It's padded on. A teardrop shaped groin guard of stiffened linen. <laughs> <laughs> groin guard. The Not other chest holds a disintegrating cloth sack, which holds some money, which are somehow still valid tender, 6,000 years later. I see it more that they're very common artifacts, which happen to coincide with the, <laughs> with the gold coin. And a very well-preserved dark wood cover. Um, praise, please. God damn it. Other appraise, please. What is that? Arcanist. There we Arcanist. go. Arcanist. It's worth 50 gold. Uh. Give me a second. Seems kind of greedy. Okay. <clears throat> Inside the cover, you find uh, two po uh, two potions. God damn, I'm filling all my crafting check. I feel special at my 21 all of a sudden. And a nice looking pendant. And gemstones, so two appraises please. Yep. Make it when I fail. Take mine for a second one then. Uh huh. Okay.
And of course, the 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 uh, sarcophagus the itself sarcophagus. is uh, is gold plated. So you could scrape it off. Nah. I'm okay with that. Wouldn't that count I'm as not. defiling the grave? Yeah, I don't think Alaya would allow that. Yeah, that's why I just said I won't. Look, it's a Looking. Bird. Look at the party. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the colors. You suddenly feel content with yourself that you have mostly... You, you, you feel content that you have basically discovered all of this place. And you feel a surge of power. You are now level 2. Nice. <laughs> nice. Great. So, the loot pile contains this. The only money that you actually have is the liquid money that you found at 604. Okay. Is it okay to say that we liquidate? No, you cannot now, liquidate any of the rest. Because of the There is a good reason thing. that you uh, that you will want to liquidate it later. Trust me on that one. In that case, can't just everybody note down 150 gold and then they can spend that till next time? Mm hmm Okay, uh, quick question. How big is that Darkwood's coffer? Uh, smallish. It's 151 gold. Yeah, everyone gets 151 gold. Everyone write it down, please. Do not forget, I'm now going to remove the money. Big enough for a book? Small enough to fit in the backpack? It's big enough for a book. It also looks very nice. It has... It has the... the, the, the it actually has the Spiral of Phrasma imprinted on it. Well, until we decide to sell our stuff, I'll take the coffer and, and use it as my spell bookcase. Why not just use it at that? I mean, you can claim something. <laughs> I know, uh, but you know... Also, someone took Silverstein without actually taking it. Mm, I think I took one, but I'm pretty sure I took it. Yeah, no, you didn't take it. They're both on the list, yeah. still. You took a potion. Oh, I took the Silver Chanel as well. There we go. <laughs> you just took the coffer. Oh, I lied it. I lied it. So here you are. In this room. I just noticed there's four masks and there's four of us. Coincidence, and I'll also need to remove the mask because I actually forgot to put the value in. Uh. Uh. Well, if you want, I guess you could wear the padded armor until we sell it. It is a 5% spell failure chance, but. Yeah, but I take uh, the the check penalty. Yeah, but magical padded armor has some check penalty. Yes, but how much armor bonus is it? Uh, plus one, actually, this one does because it does not bonus. have an enhancement bonus. It's the yeah, enhancement it's bonus. Work. Ah, yeah, masterwork is the one that gets rid of the ACP. Yep. Still, it doesn't stack with major armor anyway, so. Yeah, it would be all about that, plus three initiative bonus. You think that's worth a 5% failure chance? Is... Nah. Very much depends on the eye of the builder. Yeah. I'm not going to bother putting it in the Hero Lab and using it. Is this the end of today's adventuring? I think so. Mm-hmm. Do we maybe go... We could... I guess we could go find out what our second tomb is, so we can prepare for it till next time. If you want. Well, when you get out, you find that it's the evening. That's fine. And, I was just um, thinking, uh, if something happens in the meantime, that's fine. But if not, it would be nice to just get a very brief idea if we actually know anything about next tomb. 
Uh, that's like, actually yeah. something that's going to happen in the meantime, which is actually... Okay. Um, which I'm go now going to tell you what's going to happen in the meantime. Okay. As you come out... Uh, um, and you, you exit the Necropolis, which, again, goes without any big issues. Um, you see some other uh, adventurers, adventurer groups standing there, and they, they basically say that uh, most of the, the, the groups... Uh, let, wait, let me read for a second. Well, you'll find it out anyway. So I'm assuming that you would go to the inn at the end of the day. Right? Sure. Like you always yeah. do. And uh, when yeah. you get there, you find that the usual kind of keeping it to themselves groups are now suddenly very, very talkative. I mean, they've done, the, they're relieved that they've made it back alive mostly. <laughs> Only lost an eye or two. Oh, I would expect two. there to be some empty tables. No, there are no empty, empty tables. tables. Not in this <laughs> inn, anyway. <laughs> and, um... I will change the name, by the way, now. Because it is the Tomb of... The, uh, the Tomb of Akantepi. As you, uh, well, they, they, they all seem very eager to, to show off what they found. And you actually are allowed to liquidate this part. Oh. Yeah, because the, the flooding fun. hasn't happened yet. That will be later. Okay, does anyone see anything on the list they want to keep? Uh, let's, uh, if we can still get the full amount of money, I can get rid of that, uh, shield. Yeah. Okay, Please. uh, I'm thinking we should at least keep the portion of Lesser Restoration, and Silver Sheen is useful. So, I think we should, uh, that, uh, Vickis and me takes one Silver Sheen each, and that somebody takes the portion of Lesser Restoration. Okay. I'll take the potion. Just the fact that we have two dark vision potions makes me nervous, but I'm not sure if we should keep them or not. I would like to point out that, uh, remember, we're playing big sixless. You don't have to feel obligated to throw everything away that's not big six. That's remember? very true. Because yeah, you're but again like throwing away uh, but I a good shield. I still need to armor. buy an armor before I can even get the bonus on it, so. and that takes 4k for me. Uh, until I get 4k, I'll be running around naked. Which can you just buy a pearl of power? Because unchained. No, <laughs> it does. I don't have the the spell on my spell list. My yeah, armor. but Eliya does. But then she needs to prepare it. That's true. I'd rather. It's a good spell to have though. I'd rather you actually gain armor attunement and weapon attunement plus one. This level. Which means oh, yeah. that uh, <laughs> uh, you, Vickers, you suddenly have one uh, uh, have it. Oh, wait, no. what was it? No, that's but actually I only next get level. the blade at. Yeah, next level. So, next level, you will suddenly. Like, poof! 2000 gold from nowhere. Where did this come from? <laughs> we don't have it now, we get it next level. No, nope, you have we... it now. Get the bonus now. He doesn't because All right. well, he does as well because it's not a black blade yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Once it becomes a black blade, they don't stack anymore. Right. Quick question: How can we change the level again in in Air Lab? What? Oh, you uh, don't have go to, to anymore. classes and then press level one under click to no, no, no. add class levels. Uh, you can use. What are you talking about? You just uh, I I selected the option where we don't use XP, so you can just. Add levels. It won't complain. I know. That's what I was saying. Go to classes and click here to add class level. Oh. I see. Activate must do. 
So, how much did we liquidate then? Uh, I would need to crunch the numbers. Yeah. Remember that all of the, the items that usually have an enhancement bonus to, to uh, like, armors are now less expensive. Because that part I think I might actually form. just make a new character sheet called Lootless and just add gear to that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop the stream at this point, so yeah. we can, of course, continue some loot discussion after that, but let's end the stream. Boom!